Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new video. And unfortunately, PDCGO is shutting down in a few days. But alongside TCGO leaving, we're also losing the legendary Legacy format. Legacy is one of the best formats, if not the best format we've ever had in the Pokemon TCG. It's a great way to play the classic TCG as you get to play with cards from Harkle's to Silver base set all the way to Legendary Treasure. So you get to play cards that were introduced in the game in 2010. And unfortunately, Legacy will be leaving us with PCGO as there are no Harkle's to Silver cards in TCG Live, meaning there is no legacy format. And this is a great way to play the game, getting to play with prime cards, legend cards, all kinds of things. Legacy was introduced into PCGO back in 2016. So it has been around for well over seven years. And again, it is one of the best formats we've ever had. And to honor Legacy and to give Legacy one final send off, I decided to team up with Chip Ritchie. Some of you may know Chip Ritchie from the official Pokemon TCG streams as a caster. And you might also know him from the Uncommon Energy podcast. But me and Chip have done a Legacy collab a while ago back in 2020, and we decided to team up once again to do another Legacy collab to send off the format. We did a best of seven conquest set. Basically, we both pick four different Legacy decks to play, and one of us has to win with all four Legacy decks in order to win the conquest set. It's a great way to show off the format, and it's a great way to show eight different Legacy decks and how they work, how they operate, and to get to show off some really old school cards that will no longer be coming with us over to Pokemon TCG Live. I'm going to miss Legacy a lot. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Legacy deck was. Let me know your favorite Legacy video. I'm not the only person who has done Legacy content before. There's other content creators that have done Legacy content. I'm pretty sure Chip has done Legacy content before. I know Yellow Swallow used to do a ton of Legacy content before his channel, like, mysteriously disappeared. But let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite Legacy deck? What was your favorite Legacy moment? What was your favorite Legacy content deck? Whatever the case may be from any YouTuber out there. Because it's a great time to celebrate Legacy as we'll never get to play this format again on any online client for the foreseeable future until hopefully one day they added TCG Live. Leave a like if you go on to enjoy the video. This is a long one, by the way. So uh, buckle up, make some popcorn, pour one out for Legacy, and let's get into it. All right, here are the decks I'm going to be taking Chip on with in today's video. So starting off, I got Fluffy Chomp, easily one of my favorite decks in Legacy, relying all on Garchomp as your main attacker with the attack Mock Cut. That does one for 60 damage. It's a pretty heavy hitter considering, again, Legacy is a little bit more toned down in terms of power creep. A stage 2 Pokemon with 140 HP that can do big damage for one energy in the Legacy format is pretty darn good. We can actually boost Garchomp's power with Altaria with Fight Song, where our Dragon Pokemon can do 20 more damage to the active Pokemon. So we can stack Altarias, and then Makka can do like 100 damage for one energy. And then we have Dragon Blade, which can do 100 for two. We can power up Dragon Blade through Blend Energy. Uh, there's also Gabite, which is another crucial piece to Garchomp. Gabite lets you search a deck for a Dragon Pokemon. So you can chain together an army of Gibbles and Gabites and easily set your board up full of Dragon Pokemon like the Garchomp. As Garchomp is your only attacker, you're not playing any other big attacker. You're just playing the Garchomp to try to get that into play. And everything else is just kind of straightforward. We do have that Tribal Beach. Obviously a very rare card on TCGO. Not so much live as you can basically get it for like free. But on TCGO, this was a very big card. Very hard card to get. And of course, it's legal in the Legacy form. Format and Beach is a fantastic card to play in a slow-paced deck like Fluffy Chomp. We also have access to Smeargle with Portrait, which does allow you to look at your opponent's hand and reveal a supporter there and play it as the effect. So a great card to use to set up your board with uh, Gibbles and Gabites. While you're slowly just sitting there, you can use Smeargle's Portrait ability to set you up. That's not the only slow deck we got. We got The Truth. This is easily the most vintage legacy deck, or maybe, well, maybe not the most vintage, but easily one of the coolest legacy decks. One of the coolest decks of all time is the Reuniclus Vileplume deck. Now, this is not the exact list Ross Cawthon played to 2011 Worlds, but it is very loosely based off of it. Everything kind of checks out. We even have the original Suicunente Legend, which is great to finally get to play this card again, because this will be the last time we ever get to play Legend cards. The main heavy goal in the deck is to use Vileplume. Of course, Vileplume's ability or Poke Body, I should say, actually. It's not an ability, it's a Poke Body. Each player cannot play any trainers from their hand. So, item locking your opponent is insane. In Legacy, there is no Gust Supporter. There's only Genesect, Ninetales, and 
Pokemon Catcher slash Reversal, but we get to shut off Reversal and Catcher, meaning Vileplume shuts your opponent off from being able to do anything. We also set up Reuniclus with the ability Damage Swap, where you can move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. So the idea behind the deck is you sit behind a big heavy hitter that is good against a big Pokemon. Dawnfan is pretty good against Darker IX. Also, it's a very bulky stage one Pokemon with Earthquake. Dawnfan Prime's Earthquake attack does one for 60 and 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Really strong attack in this deck. A one energy attack can be great with its uh, uh, Pokey, uh, almost that ability, Pokey Body Exoskeleton, letting it take 20 less damage. We can also play Reshiram. Now, Ross has list played Zekrom, but we're playing Reshiram because of how important it is against Verizzi and Genesect. We get to use Outrage. We can use Reshiram's Outrage attack with Reuniclus, moving damage onto Reshiram at any point in the game, and then attacking with Outrage out of nowhere with the combination of Damage Swap. We also get to play the Entei Suicune Legend. We had to play this card. This is one of the coolest cards in the game. And unfortunately, Legend cards are Harkle's or Silver specific, so you're never going to be able to play these cards ever again. Really hoping to get some Legend action. That's one of the reasons I want to play this deck, for the record, is this deck played this Legend card, and it was one of the best cards in the deck. The main purpose is it is super tanky. This is a Fire and Water Pokemon, which, keep in mind, is very relevant when playing against a Grass deck or a Fire deck. Mainly, of course, Virginia Genesec being the big one. You can't really see the attacks that well, because this card is like kind of flipped over but it has an attack that lets you snipe a pokemon for 100 damage and you return the water energy to your hand we do play rainbow energy in here and then you play bursting inferno that can do 80 damage for a fire and a dce and you can burn the opponent so it could be pretty good against virizian genesect obviously it's the big one we want to hit and we have mewtwo ex and kirimi ex i did to play a bunch of bulky exes again this deck is updated to legacy because 2011 worlds is a lot different than the legacy format we have. So we are playing at Mewtwo EX and Kirin. Both attack for DC. Both are tanky. If you can't KO the Mewtwo in one hit, we can just constantly Reuniclus damage swap to the bench. And we have Seeker in the deck, which each player returns one of his or bench Pokemon and all cards attached to it into the hand. So we can play Seeker to heal the Pokemon that we put damage on with Reuniclus. So say we Reuniclus to something like Kirin. We put 17 damage on it. We can Seeker to basically take all that damage off and then reset the damage. We are playing Beach to set up. We are playing Twins, one of the best cards in the deck. This deck does fall behind a little bit in prizes because it is a bit of a slower paced setup based deck and that's where Twins comes in clutch where you may use this card only if you have more prizes remaining than your opponent. You get to search deck for two cards. Twins easily lets you set up this deck pretty quickly, letting you set up, you know, Rare Candy Vileplume, Reuniclus, we got Clef on the deck with Eek to set us up with the ability, or the Poke Body. I keep saying ability. <laughs> or if Clef was asleep, you prevent all damage done to it. So a lot of the time, Clef can buy you a free turn if it stays asleep. And then, of course, Eek lets you shuffle draw six alongside Tribal Beach to help you set up. And then we got the Pichu in the deck with Playground, where each player may search their deck for a uh, Pokemon and fill up their entire bench. So if you really wanted to, you can Playground and get all your Pokemon in play for free. And that's what we're trying to do with Pichu here to set up our entire board, get Oddishes in play, get Solosis in play, get a Fampy down maybe, maybe get Mewtwo in play. The only thing we can search out is Entei Suicune Legend. We do play Pokecom though, which can search it. And then of course we have Sage's Training, which can get us there. We can Twins for Entei Suicune Legend. Lots of ways to find it. This deck is a lot of fun to play. Definitely I would recommend looking up The Truth on YouTube, uh, The Truth deck on YouTube from 2011 Worlds. It's a very cool deck. And then my all-time favorite favorite deck, Yen Mega Magnezone. I love Yen Mega Prime. This card can attack for free if you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent, and both of its attacks are pretty good. It can do 70 damage for free. Yen Mega Prime's HP is pretty nice. It's resistance to fighting, helps against landers. Genesect DX cannot one-shot it without a G booster. And then we have Magnezone Prime in the deck with Magnetic Draw, where you can drop to six cards in your hand. This is a great ability to help you constantly chain together Yen Mega's attack every turn. And then you have the big Lost Burn attack. While you're putting on pressure with Yen Mega, you can slowly work towards a Magnezone with Lost Burn, doing 50 damage. Put as many energy from your Pokemon as you like in Lost Zone, doing 50 for each energy you put in Lost Zone in this way. So really good way to take a big one at KO. This deck does play Copycat and Judge, which can easily match your opponent's hand size in this deck. And Yemma has a Fury Tree cost too, which is also pretty sick. Again, Yamega Prime is easily my favorite card of all time, and I'm actually super sad that we can't play this anymore. I really wanted to get some Prime action in today's video. Um, and then finally, ending things off, I got Ray Eels, a classic deck here in the Legacy format. Ray Eels is the original Rayquaza VMAX Flaffy deck. Of course, Electric has the exact same ability as Flaffy with Dynamotor, and then you have Rayquaza EX, which does a Fire and a Lightning, discard all basic Fire or Lightning on it, doing 60 damage for each energy discarded in this way. You put three Lightning energy on it, you discard three Lightning energy, you do 180 damage, bye-bye. EX Pokemon. We also got Raikou, though, with Volt Bolt. You can discard all Lightning Energy from it to snipe a Pokemon for 100. 
100 damage. Great way to knock stuff out on the bench if your opponent does not put a Mr. Mime in play. We got Zekrom, which has a really good attack with Bolt Strike that does 120. Nice, strong one prize Pokemon. And then we use Keldeo EX. Rush in allows you to switch it to your active spot, and you put a float stone on it, and then you can move Rayquaza to the bench every turn, rebuild it back up with Electric using Keldeo's ability to put Ray on the bench, and then you go back into Rayquaza and then attack with it again thanks to that combo. And that is the concept behind the Keldeo in the Rayquaza deck. And that's it. Those are the four decks I've played. Uh, I think the hardest one might be the Truth, because it's a bit of a slower deck, and a deck like this might struggle in Legacy, which Legacy is known to be a bit more faster. I'm not sure what we got for Chip, but I'm excited to see what Chip brought to the table. Hopefully the Truth can get us a cup, get us a win, because I am scared this deck might not be able to get us a win, but we'll have to see how it does. I think this might be the harder one to play, because I think it is the one that might be the, the worst of the decks. But let's go check out what Chip brought to the Conquest. So TCG Live's beta is ending, and the days of TCGO are ending. An era truly come to an end. It's super sad to see. I've loved TCGO. I've spent so much time on it. Uh, and then LDF reached out to me, asked if I'd be interested in doing this collab. Is a little bit of a legacy send-off. I was more than happy to do that. Super pumped to get to play some legacy, because I have played a bunch of this format. Um... One of the things I always loved about PTCGO is that whenever the standard format or expanded format felt stale, I always had the theme deck format and legacy format to fall back on as a fun way to play the game that wasn't, you know, the main set that everyone was playing, right? It was just a little bit of a change up. And what we're doing here is a conquest. So we're each going to bring four decks. We're doing a best of seven. You have to win with all four decks in order to win the conquest. So I've got my four decks picked out here. Two of probably the best decks at some point in the Legacy lifespan, Verizian Genesect and Weavile Eggs. And then two of my kind of personal favorites, Mew Vile Plume and then Ninetales Amoongus. So I'm just going to quickly show these deck lists. For Verizian Genesect, I don't think there's anything crazy here. I've probably honestly copied this list from someone to be honest, I'm, I might have changed a card or two, but whenever Legacy first came out, this was kind of the initial BDIF, what everyone thought was the best deck at the time, because the thing with Legacy is that you got to use uh, the Prime cards. And so Verizian Genesect during the like 2014 era was a super good deck, being able to accelerate energies with Emerald Slash, do extra damage with Megalo Cannon, and then knock anything out with the G Booster. But the fact that you can now use Celebi Prime to cheat a couple extra energy cards into play. You can go between a bunch of Celebes. It's super, super good. And then whenever the turn one supporter rule changed with the release of Sword and Shield, Smeargle started to get a lot better because it was your only way to play a supporter on turn one of the game. Smeargle was obviously already a pretty solid card, but it's kind of interesting that Legacy didn't get any new sets to update the meta, but with the rule changes of the game, things kind of got updated and shook it up a little bit. Smeargle definitely got a lot better. So yeah, that's the idea of this deck. Just attack with Genesect for a lot of damage. You really don't even like, you know, in 2014, you were attacking with Verizian to load up Genesect. In this deck, you don't even really attack with Verizian. <laughs> you're, you're pretty much just using Celebi to get your energy cards into play. Uh, Verizian is just more of a tech for the Verdant Wind ability in those specific matchups where it's, it's necessary. You can attack with it, obviously, but it's not not the main attacker like it maybe was in one time. And then as the meta kind of changed and evolved, Weavile Eggs is a deck that kind of became another one that a lot of people considered one of the best. It's Vilify Attack dealing 30 damage for each Pokemon you discard from your hand, and that combos very well with the Propagation Execute since you can discard all four, and then the next turn when you want to attack with another Weavile, you just pop them all right back up into your hand. You got the Junk Hunt Sableye, a classic, classic card. This is a deck I've spent a good bit of time with. I do think it's very solid. I play a 1-1 Electrode line in my list. It's not something that a lot of people were working with, to be honest, but just a little bit of extra card draw I have found is pretty good with this deck. Um, being able to use Junk Arm with the Executes is incredibly good. Ultra Ball, of course, combos there as well, but really just Junk Arm, giving you access to Extra super rods, extra dark patches, extra computer searches. The fact that you can have a junk arm in your hand and then execute twice, discard them both, go get computer search, and then execute, discard the two for computer search, and just go get any card. Absolutely insane. This deck was absolutely bonkers. Tons of fun to play. Um, and you never run out of resources, thanks to Sableye with Junk Hunt. 
Next one I want to talk about is the Mew Vile Plume. This is probably the most uh, toxic deck. I don't know what a better word to describe it would be. Um, but yeah, this deck is definitely not fun to play against for sure. But it's something I have loved to play because it's super fun to get this strategy set up. And it uses a ton of really old cards. So it's really cool in that aspect where a lot of the meta legacy decks will use cards from more of the black and white era. This one really relies on a ton of heart, gold, soul, silver, and then really early black and white era cards. So the idea of this deck is that with Mew's Lost Link Pokebody, it can copy the attacks of Pokemon in the Lost Zone. And what you're going to want to copy is either Vanillix with its double freeze attack, 40 damage, flip two coins. This attack does 40 damage times the number of heads. If either of them is heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. So you want to make your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. They can't do anything to get out of it because they can't play Switch because you have Vileplume in play with the Allergy Flower Pokebody. Each player can't play any trainer cards from his or her hand, which trainer cards does mean just item cards. It's a weird thing. Don't really have time to explain it, but that's just what it is. <laughs> it, can, it means item cards. You can still play supporters in stadiums and such. So the idea is that you're going to use double freeze to whittle your opponent down a little bit. You just need one heads and with Mew and combination of the Victini with its victory star ability allowing you to reflip, you can have a pretty good odds that you're going to get at least one heads out of four flipped, right? It's a 75% chance that you're going to at least get one heads, but sometimes you will miss. And that's where, you know, the fact that everything in this deck is a one prizer definitely is pretty nice. And then you, on the turn that you would be taking a knockout on that Pokemon that you've been locking active for turn after turn after turn, you go for fly instead, flip a coin, if tails, this attack does nothing, but if heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And the way we're getting these Pokemon into the Lost Zone is either with Sea Off from the Muse, search a deck for one Pokemon and put it into the Lost Zone, shuffle afterwards, or the Relicanth, Prehistoric Wisdom. Choose a card from your hand and put it into the Lost Zone, then draw three cards. This deck does play Master Ball as the A spec, which is kind of funny. I've just found it to be the best. You don't really love discarding cards with this, and it's really just about getting Pokemon into play, getting Pokemon into your hand. Um, you're trying to set up a turn two Vile Plume most of the time with the rare candies and such as well. So, yeah. And then with Rescue Energy, whenever your Mews get knocked out, if they do get knocked out, you get to b bounce them back to your hand, which is pretty strong. And then the last deck we're going to talk about is probably the most unique one. A uh, little bit of a pet deck here, and that is the Ninetales Amoongus, with Ninetales having the Hexed Flame attack, 50 more damage for each special condition affecting the active Pokemon, and Amoongus's Spore Prize ability. When you play it from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. If you do, your opponent's active is now Confused and Poisoned, so that's two special conditions, so that's dealing 50 base for each one, so that's 100. 120 for the base damage, plus the Poison is 10 plus the um, Verbank City Gym is uh, two more, so that's 130, 140, 150. And then if you can get a um, Silver Bangle in there, that gets you up to that 180 mark where Ninetales can be one-hit KOing any Pokemon, uh, any Pokemon EX in the format for the most part. I guess like a Crystal Wall Black Curum is going to survive it. But yeah, that's the idea of this deck. This is probably, like I said, the most like unique pick of mine, a little bit of a pet deck. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Shout outs to LDF for asking me to come do this. <coughs> Excuse me. And as for predictions, which deck I think I'm going to have the easiest time winning with is honestly probably Mew Plume, just because... I've got four games pretty much to win a game with this, and I think it, it might just take one. This deck is super good. It's super toxic. It's pretty consistent if I can just set it up and if Matt doesn't have a way to, like, stop the special conditions, right, which I know he's not going to be playing Verzi and Genesect because we talked about the decks beforehand. Um, that That's really kind of the deck's one bad matchup. Same for the <laughs> the Ninetales deck, Verzi and Genesect, kind of a tough matchup, all just because of how good uh, the Verzi and EX is. Um, so I think I'll have the easiest time winning with Mew Plume, and if I had to guess, I think I will have the hardest time winning with the Toxic Fox with the Ninetales Amoongus deck. 
yeah, this one, this deck is just kind of for funsies. I don't think it's the strongest, but, and it's definitely a big time combo deck. Like you got to pull a lot off to get your knockouts every single turn, but when you can make it happen, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully I can make it happen in this video today. And shout outs again to LDF for asking me to come do this. I'm super pumped to do this. I'm going to miss Legacy. I'm going to miss PTCGO a whole, whole bunch. Played this game a lot over the years, so I thought it would be a fun way to kind of see it off. Oh, see off? You see what I did there? See it off into the... Oh, this is the wrong deck. Oh, Chip, you're, you're fumbling the... See it off into the into the abyss, into the lost zone, right? We're lost zoning PTCGO, sadly. All right, let's get it. Let's get some wins. All right, here we go. We are getting into the first round of the conquest here with Chip. Yo, what's up, Chip? What's up, man? Thanks so much for having me on. Excited to do this. Gonna miss Legacy, miss PTCGO. So glad we get to do one last ride here. Yeah, same. I'm I'm gonna miss this format a lot. I was actually playing it the other day when I was getting ready to uh, kind of prepare these decks or whatever because I hadn't played Legacy in a while, and it was like really nostalgic. I actually was running into like real players too, which was kind of funny. It like was just in, on the ladder? Yeah, it was weird. That's like, awesome. Yeah, the, the first game I played against, it was against the Krussell Superior Uniclus Lock deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's not something someone who's, like, <laughs> just playing. Like, that's someone who's been playing Legacy for a minute that's playing that deck. Yeah, yeah, they bodied me. I had the ability to, like, donk their Mew Prime, and then they just, like, came out of nowhere with, the <laughs> with like, the, the Cradillion. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh, the Ditto. All right, so Ditto Bollock here. Very similar ability to Sudo Wudo in Expanded, where it limits my bench. And that gives me an idea of what you might plan, what my, what you might be mm, playing. So Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Bro, there's no shot you're using this Ultra Ball. I had to. I, I wasn't able to transfer everything over, unfortunately. <laughs> I was pretty sad about that. Uh, thinking of what to do. I think I have a pretty good turn next turn, looking at my hand. So I'm just going to grab... Yeah, I think I should just get this boy right here. The Yanma, the free retreat Yanma. Mm, classic, and, uh, classic. yeah. So starting my Ditto is actually pretty bad because it's pretty much <laughs> just a free prize for uh, Yen Mega whenever you want it. So that's a bit of a bummer here. I'm going to start with this. Double heads? Oh, let's get it. Oh, Easy. my gosh. All right, all right. Nice. I immediately tried to... Uh, like drag like you have to do on TCG live and it just shot to the end of the deck So I like have to get used to <laughs> <laughs> playing on this client that actually like makes sense and instead yeah. of having to <laughs> Scroll around like I'm used to on live. Okay. Yeah um, Yeah, when I was when I was building my decks on TCGO I was like so used to like the live deck manager layout that it was like kind of like I had to get used to PTCGO's deck manager again Yeah, for sure I think I'm just gonna go with these fellows right here Okay, yeah, I figured it was, I figured it was Virgen Cell, because I saw the Ditto, I'm like, alright, Virgin Ver yeah. Genesec likes to play that. Yeah. It's about the only, it's the, the main deck, right, in the format that plays it. Yeah. And yeah, that's the thing, Virgin Genesec was the BDIF, I mean, most people will agree it is the BDIF of Legacy. Yeah. At least at the start of the format, like, whenever the, whenever Legacy first got, like, announced as a thing, everyone, it was all Virzi and Genesect. That's all people were talking about. And usually it's because you can attack pretty quickly <laughs> with Genesect, but uh, as you're going to see here, that is not the case for me this time. I'm going to play this, though. Okay, okay. We're still batting above average, so I'll take it. Uh, nice, nice. And I'm going to send hmm. it back over to you, buddy. All right, sweet. So we avoided the inevitable turn one donk by the Genesec, which is pretty good. So I do have a pretty good hand here. Um, we can actually get one of... Uh, do I... It's actually... Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I can pull this off. I can get the Magnezone Prime in play, but I have... The problem is that that's a three retreat cost, I'm pretty sure. So I need to find a float stone or a switch. I don't know. I'm Magnezone's thinking... He's a big boy. Yeah, he's a very thick, thick boy here. So you have a four card hand. Um, I think we'll computer search these two away. I'm gonna grab the. I think I sh still should just get them in play now. Let's see here. I do have. Yeah, I think we're chilling. Yeah, I'll go get the Magnezone now because this would also force you to get like a G booster to knock him out. And I also got to draw some cards. So let's uh magnetic draw. See if I can get the combo to attack you here. Uh, no, didn't get it there. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And this is the thing about Legacy, too. It's like, even though there will be hands in games where you're just popping off, and, like, especially as Virgin Genesect, like, games you're going to pop off and get the turn one attack, 
it's not going to happen every time, right? Like this format definitely is quite a bit slower and um, a lot more strategic almost it feels like, right? Yeah, I agree. That's one of the things I love about it. Obviously, the power creep is not as bad. And yeah, like you said, it's a lot more strategic with how you have to make your plays, um, especially when playing in a format where you're attacking with a lot of one prizers, you know, compared to standard where it's just like, unless you're playing Lost Box, you have to really map out how you're going to play the game. But most decks, it's like you're playing Lugia. All right, let me just go T-Tar, you know, twice and then finish the game off with like a single strike Urshfu or something. So it's a lot, a lot more different, I would say. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn over to you. All right, you gave me the young cojones here, so I do Ooh. appreciate that. Oh, nice, the Skyro Bridge. Nice, nice. That's really kind of the me. I, I say the cojones, but it's really the <laughs> just getting the Skyro Bridge is pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's think here. Hmm. See, I'm trying to avoid this G booster. I kind of need my Magna Zone to live one turn here so I can uh, kind of build up a bigger board. Yeah, and I kind of want you to, like, not be able to do that. So, yeah. I'm going to go for this right here initially. Sounds good. I think that is probably only fair. <laughs> yep, yep. That's <laughs> the duality of dual ball. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm right at 500 now, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> three heads, three tails. Um, How much do... I mean, it would be, like, so good if I got it. I'm still going to see a decent amount of cards, so I'm going to do this still. Okay. Because there's a lot of things I can get to keep drawing cards right. off of my bicycle in hand. So I think it's worth kind of dumping. Yeah. Just, just, cards. just dig through the deck, see what you got going on. Yeah. Well, well um, here we go. This is actually kind of decent here because I mm. can protect the little ditto I started. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, the Mr. Mime. Another bicycle. Yeah. All right, all right. And no G booster this time, but. Ooh, nice. Can try to get some damage set up here. Yeah, and that, that extra damage does kind of help quite a bit. Ooh, that was a good top tech. We got the Magneton down. Nice. Yeah, we can attach a lightning, I guess, to Magnezone, Verbank City Gym. Which actually might be relevant. There is no Verizian EX on your side of the board. So that could be pretty good. This is fair. This is fair. Possibly yeah. an oversight on my end. Yeah. We'll see, though, what we got going on. So you are down, actually, some decent amount of draw. You're down five draw supporters, which actually is pretty good to see. Um, hmm. You're down two junk arm. I'm trying to think. So I can do 100 to you. You'll have 70. That's perfect math. So I think what I'm going to do... So we're going to slap a silver bangle on you and mega prime. We're going to end. Mm, and then we're going to sure. see if I can get more stuff here off this end. Eh, it's not bad. Yeah, two hit KOing a one prizer is never really where you want to be. Right. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, exactly. And we got the yeah, we got the mime down. So you're doing 100. I am a little scared of something here. So I think I have to do this. Feels kind of bad, but we're going to have to junk arm away. Actually, I can do this. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. All right, we got... I'm about to get rid of another junk arm. I feel so bad. Junk arm my way, a junk arm. Yeah, I never love to see it. Yeah, we got to get a got to get a Pokecom back so I can uh, get out another Yen. I'm kind of wishing I'd put this 20 damage that's on this Magneton. Just put it on the Yen Mega. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you weren't going to do that when you uh, attacked <laughs> me there. <laughs> I will say you have definitely played far more legacy than i have like without a doubt so fair enough fair um, enough yeah let's see okay that was a fine top deck i'll take that okay so, nice nice i'm gonna hit him with the switch Ooh, nice breath try to get that extra attachment here yep and i'm gonna switch back and go for the mm. mm -hmm. this is interesting so that's why I had to get a Yanma down, because there's a there's a yeah. chance that you could get the the G booster plasma KO on my Yen Mega, and then I can't attack you. Yeah. So, so I have one junk arm left to work with. So I have to be very mindful of that. Oh, uh, and what? So this card in your hand, like. <laughs> this is tough. There's so many things it could be that are good that guarantee you draw. So, I probably. I'm kind of wishing I just held those switches now because I, I kind of don't even want to play 
the supporter in my hand. I think I'm going to though, since I've gone Ooh. down this path. Yeah. I'm lose my Verizian, to be honest. But <laughs> okay, this this is okay. This is okay. This is okay. I think. Not bad. I'm assuming that that is still gonna be something um, pretty good in your hand, though. But we'll see. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> So you have a seven card hand, interesting. Okay, so I'll bring in Yenma. We'll drop for turn. Ooh, does that do anything? No, I don't know. Hmm, I'm actually not quite sure I can, not quite sure I can attack you here, actually. I do have a lot of cards in hand. Yeah, and I unfortunately don't have a research or an N or a copycat. So kind of in a weird spot here. Interesting. So I think what I'm going to do... Uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to... Might have to sacrifice a turn here. I'm going to go twins. Okay. Grab you and... Um, hmm. Hmm. No, nah, unfortunately I can't. I do have one card that I could technically bring my hand up to seven with. But I don't think I could do anything about it this turn. So I think we're going to have to... Wait One about card that. You bring up to seven. Yeah. I'm, but I have no idea what that could be. <laughs> but this hand unfortunately doesn't allow me to to do that because the card would have had to have been in my discard pile for it to work. Oh, execute. Yeah, yeah. Because you could have you could have magnetic drew and then yeah, pop execute from your discard up to your hand. Yeah. Speaking of which, I did draw the execute, but uh, <laughs> yeah, not much we can do. I guess. Well, uh, there is maybe one way I could attack you. Uh, do I want to go for that though? Yeah, you're down two N and two Pont. So I don't know. You're down a lot of research, though. Might have to do I've this. I've been playing a lot of cards. Yeah. I also don't really want to give you a prize, though. Uh, in order to pull this off, I would need a switch. I think we're just going to... And I'm just going to play it slow, get it in there, Yanma down. And I'm just going to pass it over to you. All right, man. Yeah. I was thinking about maybe going Smeargle there to try to, like, hit, like, a, a N or something. And then I'd have to find switch, though, which... I could get, but on the off chance I don't. I don't want to give you the extra prize. I'll make you work for that extra prize. Make me work for it, huh? Mm -hmm. See if it pans out. Would have liked to maybe see an energy last turn on my Magnezone too, but uh, can't win them all, I guess. Can't win them all. I kind of want to just keep a large hand still. I mean, you do have Copycat, obviously, and you also could have N. I, I want to make it <laughs> as hard as possible, but... It might not be realistic, honestly. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to play this John okay. Arm. I'm going to ditch these two cards. Yeah, we're going to ditch these. Yep. Looks good, looks good. Another bicycle down. Three bikes. Yeah. I said this in my, like, uh, intro, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that... I like just yoinked this list from someone like <laughs> yeah there's no shot I came up with this list to be honest but it is the best deck yes so yeah, just yeah. with what what I mean, you know if it ain't broke don't fix it right exactly so. and the bicycles are doing pretty good for you too I would say I mean I don't really know <laughs> that might be a good I could try <laughs> to yeah I just don't have enough cards left to do that I don't know Ooh. Yeah, your stuff with 110 HP is just so annoying. This is definitely yep. <laughs> an oversight for me. The fact that I did not put 10, uh, 20 damage on this Yen Mega earlier. Yeah. I would, yeah. Be in, I would be feeling much better if I had done that. Right, right. All right, we're just going to do this. All right, sweet, sweet. Okay. Let's see here. I think I do have a card in my deck that might help. So let's get another Yen Mega down. And you have a four-card hand. So I'm going to go Silver Bangle... Let's go Magnazone for two. Okay. And I'll copycat here. Yep. And we'll uh, get the exact same hand size you got. And interesting. Okay. And yeah, we'll just go into Yen Mega. And the nice thing about Yen Mega is it can attack for free if I have the exact same cards, the exact same hand size as you do. And yes. 100 damage for free seems pretty good to me. Yep, and it means that even though uh, these other two Pokemon on the bench don't have a Silver Bangle, it doesn't really matter because um, they both do 70 damage. <laughs> so yep. <laughs> that, that'll that do it normally. Um, okay, let's here go with the... Did not 
to be honest, do a great job of checking my prize cards, but I think I'm okay to do this. Okay, yeah, the old Juniper. That's your last okay. one, too, I think, so that's good. So I can... Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this. Okay, yeah, the Gust. Yep, fair play, fair play. All right, that's pretty good. Once again, your hand will be at seven, which might be hard to match here. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's see. We'll go Yamega. Down two copycats, so that's kind of, I'm hoping. I haven't yeah. seen an in or a, I think I've only seen one judge so far, so. Yeah, just the one. One of each. Okay. Yeah. So you got somebody. Okay, so, hmm. This is a good knockout, too. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch. We'll just go into the Omega here, and then I'm gonna Magna Zone for three. Let's see if we can get any good cards here that can help me out. All right. No shot. We got the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That, 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 that works. All right, let's see if we can get anything and, else. Yeah, you got to draw two playable cards here. Ooh, I did, but it's... Oh, no, I didn't because of the Ditto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. The were you gonna ditto. Were you gonna have to like bench or execute? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, it's pretty bad. I did end you though, and you are. I'd say you're fairly low on supporters, and you're at a bicycle, and you don't have a Jirachi. You can't bench it. I think I'm gonna have to. Huh. Kind of tricky. I think also the pass. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, that was like probably the best possible top deck. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I know what's coming. Well, maybe. Could have Actually, a good turn. I'm wondering here. now if it even is the best possible top deck. I think I am fine with it, but Okay. Um hmm. Yeah, we'll just go here. Okay, yeah. I figured it was one of them was a plasma energy at the very least. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And get the kill on my Yen Mega and set up damage on the other one. That's pretty good. All right, yeah. so you're at, yeah, so you're at five. That was, that was a pretty good top deck. We can super rod here, get back the uh, the squad. Um, so you have three prizes. Okay, I think I just get back. Probably these. No, I got to get back three cards. All right, <laughs> interesting. I'll just put those back, I guess. Sure. And what's crazy about this as well is like I'm ahead three to six, but I still don't feel like I'm in a great position here. Like you've got so much damage on multiple EXs. Yep. That Magnazone is getting threatening on the bench. Um so I yeah, I don't know, man. Don't yeah, know how I feel about we'll, this one. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, that was a good Magnazone. All right, we got the Mr. Mime. And yeah. yeah, so I can just retreat and Sonic Boom for the knockout. All right. We're getting somewhere. You are also down two Genesis, or three now, actually, which is pretty good. Let's see what we got out of the prizes here. All right. E interesting prizes. <laughs> I just realized I didn't put the Thunder Sleeves on this deck. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, just the... <laughs> <laughs> just the deck. I've got, I've got no sleeves either. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, that top deck makes me wish I had... Or not the top deck, but I... Uh... Probably could have promoted something that I did not, is what we'll say, so... Okay. It's okay though. We'll do this. Yep. Another end down. All right. Cool. Another chorus machine. Ooh, the super rod. Okay. Forgot about that. Forgot that card yeah. was in your deck. Yep. Yep. Hmm. All right. Makes things more intense. And. Hmm. I think I've got enough cards to be able to do all this. Yeah. Okay. I am trying to be a little mindful of just how many cards I've got hanging around in my deck and stuff, but. All right, yeah, you got you got this, nine this. cards left. That's true. That's true. Hmm. Ooh, there it is. Yep. There and it is. Zero cards in my hand. I guess one card after this, but. Yep. That is pretty big. So, all right, we'll see if I can uh, do something about that. Definitely would prefer to kill with the Mega here because I want to maybe just build up to a big Magna Zone. So I think we're just going to have to go attach Magnazone. I'm going to draw with Magnetic Draw, and let's see if I can get any way to reset your hand. Hmm. Is that? So you have a one card, so I can go... Hmm. 
All right, Rip, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't put my hand on a one. All right, so. Let's go. All right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to matter. I do need to find a specific card here. Still have a junk arm left, right? I should still. Yeah, I got a junk arm. Okay. So I'm an ultra ball. Get rid of. I guess I can get rid of this. So let's see what I got in the deck. So I got my junk arms prized. Ooh. Okay, that making free information. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> that does make things a little awkward here. I can't get my hand down to one either. So I th think I'm gonna have to. Mm. Uh, I think we can pawn. There is a card in the deck here I could draw that could help me out. And I think that I do get it. Ooh, do I want to put that on Magnazone, though? Or do I want to put that on my Yen Mega, actually? That's an interesting way to go about it. So if the well, Verbank City Gym was in play, I could have KO'd you with one energy. Mm. That does make things awkward. I think I still have another card in the deck. Do I Do I have this one card? Oh, it's, okay. So I guess we have to... Hmm. I guess I got to... I guess I gotta go for this. I'm trying to think. Is this the best play? I mean, you got a one card hand. Yeah, I'm feeling okay about this. I am just gonna do the loss burn. Unfortunately, gotta get rid of two energy to KO your Genesect. But uh, yeah, without the junk arm, I'm unable to get that silver bangle out of the discard. Out of the yeah, out of the discard. Actually, can you even get it? You can't get it anymore, right? Oh no, the errata yeah. <laughs> never hit this game, did it? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no errata in this game. Yo, saved by the no errata. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Now, uh, all do right. I want to get both back? I could go to no cards in hand. That would make it pretty awkward, not going to lie. Do... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. Okay. The fact that my stadium was able to stick and play for a turn is actually huge for me here as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right, all right. Interesting. I'm putting that 20 damage on the Yen Mega. Even though that mime is stopping it, I'm still choosing the Yen yep. Mega. So maybe, <laughs> you know, hoping for a glitch or something. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to... I'll laser here. Mm. And then uh, I'm gonna flip tails. Uh, let's see here. So you have a... Uh, do I want to do this, though? I, mm, so I'm down five energy... There's one in the discard. There's none in the discard. Okay. Let's I'm see. 30 damage away from winning the game, and it's so painful. Yep. <laughs> oh, it is pain. All right, we're going to put that there. Mm. And I'm going to oak. Let's yeah. see if I can find what I'm looking for here. We do get there. The silver mirror tech. Yep. And that we're going to... is tough. Yep. Yeah, and I'm gonna. Uh, is this correct? Yeah, I think it is. We'll loss burn you for, hit you for fifty. And that poison okay. damage might be enough to get me over here. That is ticking up, isn't it? Um, yep. We both have <laughs> we both have four cards left in our deck here too, so I could go either way. Exactly. How many? All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, man. This is awkward. I'm going yep. to just retreat. Yeah, it's fair. And I'm going to attach for turn and pass. All right. And this is, this is an interesting turn. Judge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, you got me. Yeah, and that should deck you well. <laughs> yep, yep, that that will work. <laughs> nice, man. GG. GG's, yeah. I was, I was hoping you were going to walk into the judge there. I was like, all right, all right, play a card so I can yeah. judge you. That would have been pretty was sick. was not at the front of my mind, to be honest. No. I was more. Th I was worried about that bangle. I was like, dang, I really got to power up my ditto here so I can attack the, <laughs> so I can attack the Amiga. Oh, it's pretty funny. All right, so I guess yeah, Mega Magnezone is now off of the list for me. 
now that I have yep. won a game with it. So let's just do that real quick. And it's time to swap decks now to another deck here for the second round. Yes, and I can still go with Vrizzy and Genesec, but I also could change it up here. Yep. So i to step it up here in game two, but with a different deck. <laughs> yep. Let's see how uh, game Changing number two it up. goes. Yeah, and I got a different deck this time too, obviously. So, I mean, yeah, Mega Megazone, one of my favorite decks to play. I wouldn't even have minded losing with it because it's just such a fun deck to play, but... Yeah, know, it's cool. Can't win them all. All right, it's an interesting hand. Uh, I think we'll start with this guy right here. Pretty, I think he's a pretty good Pokemon to put in the active spot in this scenario. I think All so. Right, I'm ready for you to see my mulligan. Ooh, Let's nice. I get to see what you're playing. Okay, a Mew Prime with Unpheasant. All right. What do you think about this deck? I think it's really cool. It's one of the my favorite things about Legacy is just playing that that type of deck. Ooh, a Relicanth. Yeah. So we got a pretty old card here with uh, Prehistoric Wisdom. Choose a card from your hand, and you put in the Lost Zone, and then you draw three cards. So... Obviously, Relicanth does work with Mew Prime, so you can put a Pokemon in Lost World and then, uh, or the Lost Zone, I should say, and then uh, get it back with uh, with the uh, with the Mew. Put then you can use Mew to copy it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I went with Ray Eels here. We'll see how Ray Eels stands up to a Mew Prime deck. I'm actually very curious to see how this is gonna go. Yeah, the Keldeo is going to make things tough, to be honest. Ooh, okay. Um, Ooh, and Double Tails. <laughs> yeah, Double Tails doesn't help my cause either. <laughs> um, but here we are. Okay. Ooh, the Oddish. Yeah, we got the Oddish down. That's good, at least. My hand yep. here is pretty awkward to be honest though mm. how likely is it that you get a turn to attack i mean yeah you never know <laughs> it's still it's not crazy unlikely by any means i'm gonna just ditch oh man i'm gonna <laughs> ditch this okay Ooh, that's rough my choices were not great to be honest yeah but I did get a, I got a pretty good top deck here, so I think I can try to go for this here. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go grab the eel. So let's see what I got. We got the that that. All right, cool, cool. Just making sure I have all yeah. my outs in my deck. So we're gonna grab the electric here. This Push. could be a quick one to be honest, but we'll see. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Relicanth is weak to grass, not lightning. So that that kind of <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm gonna go for a catcher here. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, gust out the oddish, and then I'm just gonna play a research. Juniper, whatever you want to call her. And, ooh. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I got the knockout here. Let's go. Oddish yeah. live to fight another day. Yeah, I did. Yeah, rip. I whiffed the, uh, whiffed the play I needed to make. Question is, do I want to set up this card or not? Hmm. I think I'm going to Ultra Ball. Give it a level ball and a fire energy. And I could go for... Could go for a certain attacker here that might be pretty useful, especially to get this vile plume dealt with. Or could grab another big attacker here. I think I'm just gonna go for yeah, let's just get Rayquaza, I think. It's fine. Yeah, the beautiful full art Rayquaza, one of my favorite cards of all time, this Rayquaza EX. Yeah. It is a nice looking card. I had to rock the full art. I had it's so nice. It's so nice. And I'm just gonna have to yeah, I'm just gonna pass it over to you. That's fine with me. All right, draw here. So yeah, that was okay. a pretty big whiff. I really wanted that knockout. I think if I hit a sky or bridge, I also would have had the KO because I could have KO'd it with yeah. Ray. So that's fine though. Live to uh, see another day. As long as you don't get Vile Plume down this turn, we might be chilling. Yeah, when I'm lost zoning a rare candy turn one, yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty reasonable that yeah. no turn two Vile Plume. But yeah, that's fair. All right. Let's see here. So that was a pretty good draw, all things considered, I guess. So we can do that. We can Dynamotor to my Rayquaza. And I guess I'll play Professor Oak's new theory here. We're going to see if I can get a good hand going. Ooh, that might have been a good draw. But do I uh, Do I want to give you that, though? Do I want to give you this card? Because you have... Eh, eh, it probably I doesn't yes. matter. Yeah, <laughs> you, you want, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to be like, nah, nah. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll just, I'll just retreat into uh, Ray, and I think I'm just going to Dynamotor to the Zekrom. Okay. And, hmm, I might just hold for a turn. 
Uh, you might get the vile plume though, which is kind of. Are you tricky. a roar gamer? I would say so. <laughs> Celestial roar gamer. Roar gamer. Well, oh, I don't even have a knockout. Oh no. <laughs> Did you think you had no man? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I actually thought I had a KO there. That's fine. Oh no. Okay. Uh. I might have to be a roar gamer actually. Well, um, you don't have to. No, nah, I mean, I bro, I was I was thinking Rayquaza V Max. Oh my gosh, you were doing forty plus sixty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, you made the wise decision there to not roar. I yeah, unless I mill three items, then we're chilling. All right, yeah, my my math was off. I don't think I actually had a KO that turn, anyways. Looking back at it, um, or maybe I did. did. Or maybe I did. I forgot how bad this card is. Sage's training. Ooh, yeah, it it's <laughs> <Until> basically. <laughs> I was like ready to play a chorus and get. I was like, oh yeah, I would love to take three of these chorus, <laughs> but that's not how it works. Yeah, it's, right. it's the first version of chorus, basically. <laughs> oh man, that's fine. All right, hmm. this could be pretty bad if you get the vile plume down this turn. I'm a little scared of that. I think I maybe yeah. did have the KO thinking about it, but I think it's fine. Oh, there he is. There's the vile plume. It's fine with me. But now, goes now you're item as well. Yeah. So the Van Fezen is really cool. So you can do fly, which can do 50. You flip a coin of tails, it does nothing. If you get heads, you find all effects of attacks and damage done. So you use Mew Prime to copy the Unpheasant. So it's pretty sneaky. Something I do have to watch out for here. Um, hmm. It's an interesting dilemma to be in. I think I'll attach to my Rayquaza. Now you're getting the knockout. Yeah, now, now we're getting there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the Raikou EX. Yeah, we're going to go bench Raikou here, and I th think I'm just going to take a knockout. Yeah, I don't think I want to do much else with this hand. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Take that knockout. You have activated my trap card, however. Ooh, okay. I think we're going to see some unpheasant action here, which could be kind of cool. All right, I'm now able to play... A card you were able to use last game. Yep, there it is. Twins. The twins. Okay. Maybe one of the I'm best remembering... supporters of all time, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Super, super strong. I'm remembering now some of the changes I've made to this list the last time <laughs> I played it. I would love to grab a collector here, but it looks yep. like I did not keep that in this list. Oh, no, the collector. Yeah. I played it. That would yeah. be pretty good to have next turn. Okay, so yeah. that is going to change what I want to do a little bit, I think. Okay. So there's one interesting thing about your list is you have the ability to... I You have the ability to be behind in prizes, but you have to set up Victini if you want to go on Pheasants. That's one thing i got to be very exactly. mindful of. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, though, I don't know what other shenanigans you got in the uh, in the deck here, so I'm, I'm going to be a little mindful of that. I'm not, even, I'm not sure what else you can... You can like put in the lost zone. Oh, okay, there it is. All right, Vanellux. <laughs> All right. There's some information for you. Yep. And ooh, I did draw a pretty good card here that I would have loved to have played before you got that vile plume in play. Um, that's fine though. I think I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if this is correct or not. I do need to deal with that vile plume though. Unfortunately, Raikou only does a hundred. But I think I'm going to go for it. We're going to put down a Skyro oh. Bridge. We're going to retreat okay. to the Raikou. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then we're going to... We're going for the Volt Bolt 2 hit KO on a one prizer on the bench. Yep, that feels really bad, but uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's about all I can do. Sometimes that's what you got to do. All right, so yep. I'm going to chain my twins together here. Nice, nice. Yep. I hmm. do wish... Hmm. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So I need to get you established as well. Hmm. This is interesting too because Vanellux, Vanellux Vile Plume is one of my favorite like classic decks. I maybe yeah. would have brought it, but I do like the idea of it. And there's the Victini, and there's an Oddish coming down. Ooh, that second Vile Plume is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go for the double freeze yep. so it's it's a super interesting dynamic here i'm gonna choose to not reflip of course because i did get the guaranteed 
paralysis. paralysis. So it's, yep. a, it's a really interesting dynamic here for me because you have Keldeo on your bench, right? Yeah. And um, Keldeo is pretty good against strategies like this that are aiming to like paral par par paralyze and lock something active. And you have Sky Arrow Bridge. So that means you can rush in and retreat for just one energy card. Yep. And that I was so. hoping to get a flow stone on. If I had a flow stone here, it'd be kind of insane, not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for the fly. It's just it's lower odds. Yeah. But it probably would have been more efficient to be honest if I had just done that. Yes. Just hope to it's, yeah. it's lower odds, mm -hmm. which is the tough part. Exactly. This kind of makes me wish I maybe established a third electric, but I kind of had to with the Zekrom, so Yeah, fine. starting a Zekrom is tough. Yeah, I think we're just going to take a KO here with uh, Dragon Burst on your Mew. It does go back in the hand with Rescue Energy, but uh, we'll see. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So that was a pretty good draw, to be honest. Ooh, okay. wasn't able to set this up in my hand with the team uh with the twins but mm -hmm. i'm glad i was able to find it and that is the n Ooh, nice i was kind of mindful of that actually because i was holding on to research with a lot of good cards in my hand but it's like if i can get rid of that vile plume then i might be able to play my good cards again so i'm like i don't want to ditch them all but i also am scared of getting bricked here all right and... nice i i think i do have to go for the fly here i do yeah. hit heads which is nice yeah and that's a pretty big heads flip i don't think think i have the attack i might have been able to attack you last turn i guess i think i maybe would have had the attack last turn if i maybe just did something a little different that's fine though with the raiko yeah that's fine i'm just gonna now ooh, do i celestial roar and hit three dead cards <laughs> <laughs> get some item cards out of your deck huh yeah it's it's kind of tempting not gonna lie but uh, I'm actually, yo, I am low-key tempted to do this. You know what? I'm going to go for it because... Let's go. I, I do want to thin because I am bricked, obviously. And Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> we lost two items. That's not bad. I got another fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to play Professor X New Theory. Yep. I'm really... Mm, that's tough. I'm really looking for just an energy to get in play, to be honest. That's kind of the one of the... Sore spots of this deck is if I ever do get a double tails turn and you take a knockout and I'm down an energy attachment, I can't attack for that turn because my attacks do require two energies. Right. Um. How many? Hmm. Oh man, I do. This sky arrow being in play <laughs> is pretty tough. Yeah. This, I was holding on. You have on to have to a it. lightning in hand, though. Like, if I paralyze, went for the paralyze attack here, yep. you could rush in, but you can't. You would have to have an, a lightning in hand, which I guess is probably pretty likely. That deck does play a ton of energy cards. Yeah, there is a world where I maybe have the energy here, especially because you were, uh, especially because I hit the other energy off yeah. the Celestial Roar. So that's one less I energy. I gotta go for fly. Yeah. All right, nice. Nice. All right. It, nice, nice. So this deck is definitely, I mean, you can tell, it's a coin flip deck, right? So it's very much a, like a cheese strategy. So sometimes yep. it's going to come through and you're going to flip a lot of heads and your opponent's going to be like, I can't do anything. And yep. then sometimes, <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, and then sometimes you just flip a bunch of tails and then you lose the game. So Yep, it's it's all part of the, the progress with that deck. But thankfully, though, I am able to go Raikou here. I did actually draw a pretty good card. So I guess had you gone Vanilla because I would have been okay. Question is, do I play this? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold it for one turn here, and I'm just gonna volt bolt that vile plume and get it off of the board. And I'm gonna force you to have to get another vile plume down this turn. And if yeah. not, we might be cooking. Or maybe, yeah, yeah maybe looking back, it might have been maybe correct to go after the oddish, but I think this is fine. All right, so now I can play my item cards. Yep. So I can play this. Ooh. Off that, I'm gonna get. Okay, checking some prizes here. Just yeah. Resources remaining. I think this is gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna need a lot of heads, I think, to win this game. To be honest, but yeah, you're gonna need the coin flips to really go your way here. I think. Yeah. So I do have twins in hand, which is yep. super good. That mm -hmm. can guarantee that I establish vile plume once again. Yep. Here he comes. All right, all right. That's going to make this a little bit more difficult for me to try to piece together. Are you going to two-hit KO another Vile Plume on my bench? I might have to. I really want this Float Stone. I don't know how much I can kind of keep up with the uh, the Caldeo spam without the 30 electric. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is, like, I can't even go for the paralysis here because you just guaranteed have... Yeah, I got the, the... fact that Mew only has 60 <laughs> HP is so cringe, to be honest. Yeah, it is kind of bad that the 6 HP kind of dooms you here, not gonna lie. We'll see, though. Um, all right. Ooh, the fly? Oh, no! Ah, yeah. uh, the double tails, yep. Yeah, I don't... I think I'm probably not gonna be able to win this one, to be honest. Yeah, I need a lot of heads to go my way, I think, with the bad. fly. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we can... Seems yeah. questionable to be honest yeah it definitely does seem a bit tougher on your end question is though do i want to attack with rayquaza or do i maybe go with zekrom because i kind of don't like the zekrom being on my board i honestly wouldn't mind attacking with zekrom here but do i want to i don't know if i can afford to do that actually well i might be able to because i do want to establish three eels maybe if i can so i think i hmm yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use the opportunity to actually try to go after, go for the Zekrom here. I think, because yeah, I think I I do want to try to get the Zekrom out of play if I can. So I'm just gonna attack you, and it actually does forty to itself. I can knock itself out by attacking you every turn if I really have to go down <laughs> that road. Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of grief, but it gets the job done. A dangerous road for sure. I'm going to bench this and this, and I'm yep. gonna play an end. Ooh, nice. That was a pretty good end. Obviously, I had a pretty big handful of... I mean, you could guess I had trainer items in my hand. A pretty good amount of them. Now, here I did whiff my energy, unfortunately, so... Ooh, it's not good. I'm just going to have to retreat into Oddish here and pass. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not have... I don't have the Raikou this turn, I don't think, to snipe the Mew, it looks like. Yeah, my hand... No, I do have it, actually. Never mind, I lied. A bro slow rolling me over here. Yeah, I did the calculations wrong. So I can <laughs> retreat the Zekrom. And yeah, we can. The calculations wrong. I didn't realize I had uh, two energy in my discard pile. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like yeah. thinking of Keldeo there. But yeah, we'll, we'll snipe that. Snipe you that mute. It, man. Yeah. Yeah, GG. I did. I prized my <laughs> Mr. Mime, which is a pretty big card for matchups like that. Yeah. Um, I think if I have my Mr. Mime there, maybe it looks a little different, but yeah, that's a tough one. Not a great showing from the Mew Plume deck. Yeah, I mean, you get to use it again at some point, and I do have two decks remaining, yeah. so we'll yeah. have to see how it goes. But yeah, I was wondering where the Mr. Mime was that game. Every time you played like a dual ball or use yeah. twins, I was like, here comes Mr. Mime. That will make things harder. Yep, I would have loved to have had him in play. I was like, yep. mm, maybe the, if this dual ball was only Hisuian, then that would be nice. That would but... be nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what I'm going to play next. Yeah, I think I think I know what I'm going to play next here. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm looking at what your decks are that you have remaining. Uh, yeah, I got two left, and uh, both of them, I think, are going to be interesting to showcase here. So we'll have to see how this goes with this next match here. We'll see if this I deck win can a do game, it. Man. Yeah, you. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm not gonna get swept here, okay? Yeah, yeah, not not the four zero sweep. <laughs> not happening. Not happening. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna go first, I guess. I think that's fine. And all right, so we'll start with this. That's a pretty. I don't know. This is eh, probably not a good hand, actually. It's it's not bad, maybe, if I wanna to start things off, but setup wise, okay. All right. All right. Decided or we're running it back. Here. We're running it or, back. Or I just have a Relicanth in one of my other decks. Yep. Well, that's true. <laughs> you, could, you could be playing Relicanth. You could be having... <laughs> that's true. So um, we've got a Vile Plume mirror match going on here, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just going to pass over to you. You're not going to item lock me turn one, so I'm content with just maybe holding the hand for a turn. But yeah, we are in a Vile Plume mirror. You're playing the Mew Plume deck, and I'm playing the Truth, which it's not the exact list. Obviously, that list is kind of outdated in this format, but I have... Kept some things true to form, but it is obviously a recreation of the deck, updated to compete with some of the decks in Legacy. So we'll have to All right, see. I want to ask you. I want to ask you a question before I play. What What do you think? What a spec do you expect me to be playing in this deck? Oh, okay, interesting question. Uh so I, that's a trick one. So I I don't think it will be Computer Search or Dowsing Machine. Then, huh? That's a tough one. It, no, it's not the it's not the victory piece one, right? Not the Victini Ace spec. No, because that's only Victini EX. Right. 
Hmm. Is it scoop up cyclone? It is not. Scramble switch? Nope. It is master ball. Okay. I forgot. I was, <laughs> I was about to say G scope. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I forgot about the Master Ball. That's pretty good. So check for a Pokemon. Okay. Yep. I like it. I actually kind of like it in Vileplume-esque decks like this. Mm -hmm. It can be pretty costly to discard a lot of cards from your hand. That's true. And it gets you your Vileplume. And then, like, just being able to search evolutions. Like, this deck does not play Ultra Ball. So yep. my ways to search evolutions are Pokemon Communication and then the Master Ball. So I like having this option. Yeah, it does seem pretty good, and I do like it, because sometimes, yeah, you don't want to use computer search. Sometimes your hand is really good. It's full of good cards, and yeah, it can really hurt you. So actually, ooh, I have an interesting play I could make here. I might actually... Uh, Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this, actually. I'm going to have to grab Cleffa. Ooh, I do have... Okay. I do have my kind of... My, my hat trick attacker in this deck i could say it's a hat trick attacker hopefully you don't see it coming we'll see how it all pans out all right let's go grab cleffa i think i gotta go for the the eek here my hand is not the greatest so yeah you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes yeah and don fan can't even knock you out as i learned <laughs> 60 damage does not kill this relicanth <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna eek and uh relicanth, honestly for its time pretty beefy pokemon 80 hp on a basic that draws cards like mm -hmm. pretty beefy yeah. And it's pretty good for your setup, too. I honestly didn't even know it existed. Like, I, I, I knew it existed, but I didn't, like, consider that it would actually be this good in this deck. So that's cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And one interesting thing about this, I actually flipped Tails on Eek, which means you can't attack me this turn, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know that I was going to anyway, to be honest. That's true. But I guess on the on the off chance in the, the world, maybe... But yeah, that's that's one of the powerful things about these baby Pokemon. I mean, I think what I think it was in Portland, right? When I think it was Puka versus Jeremy, and they were playing uh, they were playing like a 2011 format, I think. And I think there's yeah. this one game where they just kept doing Eek for like three turns straight or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the good old baby flips back in the day. Yep. All right. Ooh, there's the unpheasant. All right, you're setting up, and I stayed asleep. Oh, that's grief. I needed to wake up there. All right. That let's... is the duality of the baby Pokemon, though. Yeah. Pretty interesting, cool as well. You've got the the Hollow Cleffa. This is a promo version of the card, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. I think it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of the Cosmofoils. Yeah. It's actually not ideal. The fact that I didn't wake up is actually pretty bad because my hand is not what I would call the greatest. I'll bench Mr. Mime, and I'm just going to pass it over to you and hope I stay asleep. No! Oh, <laughs> Well, I guess Relicanth has a two retreat, so eh, maybe yeah, it's okay. I, I I think you're okay. I don't think you got much to worry about <laughs> yeah. here, to be honest. That's good. That's um, good. I am honestly debating attach attaching another energy to this Relicanth, <laughs> <laughs> setting up for the granite head, but I just don't feel like that's ever going to be worth it. Yeah. Um, so I mean, instead... it would give Relicanth 110 HP effectively, which is kind of cool, so <laughs> it would turn him into yeah. a beefy boy. <laughs> Don fan does less and it also I mean hey it hits Don fan prime for weakness okay so oh that is true that is true actually I'm not attacking with that though man yeah that doesn't <laughs> seem like a good idea <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get the vile plume in play though hopefully nice. stifle your poor set up even more and we yep. are ditching one more card to draw some more nice yeah I've only played one item but because I oh that oh that top deck actually might be kind of clutch though I I don't think I want to play that top deck though yeah I think we're just gonna do I want to do I want to bench this though I don't want to over man I think it's fine I want to draw that yeah let's bench oddish and then we're gonna uh do I, I think I have you're to. not interested in finding a friend nah we're gonna we're gonna eek we're gonna eek we're gonna eek and then I'm gonna put a tropical beach in play um because I don't okay. know if you play a stadium and that was a very interesting eek and I wake up no Kalefa you're griefing me <laughs> bodied by the Kalefa yeah um, Skill issue. I don't think I'm going into attack just yet, though. So I think okay. you are a okay. Fair, fair. Attach here and play a punt. Mm hmm. Okay. It's interesting. It's so one thing I'm taking note of your main attackers with Mew, they're not the strongest. So I'm trying to, I think I'm formulating an idea in my mind of how I can kind of play this matchup out. Yeah, this is looking like a another t tough one to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> um, just because of Reuniclus eventually coming into play. Yeah, I'm gonna start with a Sage here. 
Uh, pretty easy decision, I think. Yeah, let's take these three. Or two, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, only two. Only two. Yeah. Do I want to bench this, though? I think I have to. Yeah, we'll bench that and then attach. Yep. And eek. Hadware Candy Reuniclith. Unfortunately, can't put him into play. We'll have the eek again. And see what we're cooking with here. That's a bit of a better hand, actually. All right, we'll take that. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how your turn plays out, I guess. It determines how good my hand is and uh, what I'm able to do this turn. All right, so I'm going to attach. I think we got to yep. start maybe trying to do something here. Yeah, because if I if I take too long to set up, right, yeah, it could be, yeah. could be pretty bad. The main thing I'm looking for that I'm not seeing yet is my Victini, and I don't Ooh. really want to just retreat and attack with Mew and risk the tails. I mean, I guess double, yeah. I mean, I guarantee knockout, but I I want to go for fly, obviously, more than yeah, more than anything else, right? More than double freeze, because like it's not about knocking out the Cleffa with Mew as much as it is about making sure my Mew doesn't get return KO'd. Yeah, that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. I'm gonna put a Gloom in play. I'll play Sage's training again, and okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do I want to get rid of that? I kind of need most of some of these cards. Are actually, really good. That was actually not the greatest sage. Um, damn, <laughs> damn, dude, this sage is so bad. There's <laughs> too many good cards. Every four of these cards I want to keep. Oh no. Okay. Um, I definitely want. There's one card I'm definitely taking because I definitely think this is gonna be a key to winning this game. I guess I have to take this. I don't know if my other one's in the deck or not. Um, but I, there's a, uh, I, I hate to do it. I grab these two. I kind of need them. Rest in peace to the Kirami X and the Colrus. Mm, okay. Yeah. Do I want to eek again, though? I actually think I'm just going to beach here. Okay, that was a, uh, you know, tropical beach for one sometimes is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to hold. So you're a fan of what you got there yeah. off that, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't end me. <laughs> Yeah, well, here it comes. So, oh, no. <laughs> let's go attach and end. And I yep. am going on the offensive with Relicanth here. Not something that <laughs> I honestly do too often with this deck, but um, I gotta. I, I want to make something happen here. I want to make something happen. So that's we're fair. Doing it. Yeah. Rip Cleffa. That's fine. So I have an interesting decision. Do I go Dawn Fan or do I go Rushy Ram? I do no damage with a Reshi Ram. So I guys have to go Dawn Fan and pray. And we can get Duosion down. And I can Earthquake. So the cool thing about Mr. Mime being in play, I don't damage my own bench with Earthquake, which is pretty nice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty, pretty good. interesting interaction. Yep. Yeah. No, All right. Today. Thank goodness I finally find my Victini. <laughs> there it is. Nice, <laughs> that nice. That was the thing. I was like, I just need to get this guy. All right. Yep. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go retreat. And I think I discard. I guess I discard these two. I don't think I care about rescue energy bringing yeah. Relicanth back. Yeah, not sure that's super relevant. And no, I just got to pray. I officially have my board set up. This is yep. like the ideal setup for this deck. Um, maybe not the third Mew in play, but yeah, this is the idea. Get those guys in the Lost Zone. Get the Victini down. Get the Vile Plume. And then stick my opponent with something in the active and paralyze it every turn, ideally. Yep. Now, what could become a problem <laughs> is eventually you're going to be able to move damage off. <laughs> I'm going to damage you. And you're going to be able to move damage onto that thing to KO it to then KO my Mew. Yep. And that's uh, hopefully how this goes. But I am in a bit of a predicament because I am item locked, so I'm unable to play items. But I'm just going to have to uh, Tropical Beach and pass it over to you. Um you might have one turn where you whiff the attack. It, it might happen. It inevitably it can happen. Yeah, it, it can happen. That's what Pretty I'm. Pretty low thinking. odds on the double freeze uh, to miss, but when so the way this deck works is like I double freeze, stick something paralyzed in the active spot, but then on the turn that I would KO it, I have to go for fly, which is lower odds. Yeah. If I hit the fly, then I'm immune. The thing gets knocked out, right? So on and so forth. Yep. And that could oh, yeah. be a slight problem. Yeah, I don't ha I do have one card in my deck that I'm hoping I can set up here, and I might go Ooh. for it. Ooh, nice. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, nice. 
That's actually pretty so bad. You got actually, double heads. <laughs> yeah, I was really hoping for just one heads. Um, but I actually, I don't think you can actually knock out the Mew here, which is good. Yeah, it's actually kind of a tough, tough spot. I yeah, I don't think I can take a knock. Oh, can I? No, I think I can take a knockout here, but I have to. Okay. All right. Do I? Well, is it in the deck though? Is the question. No, it is in the deck. So I can take a knockout, but. Ooh, but if I use this card, that actually isn't a great idea, actually. So I might skip out on the KO for now. I might actually just pull out my wild card now. It's a good time to use it, I guess. Oh, snap. Let's go. You ready for this? This is going to be exciting. I, I have no clue. <laughs> oh, snap. There they are. There he is. The Entei Suicune Legend. All Very right. Cool. Yeah. I think we're going to... Uh, put that on, and then I think we're just gonna go. I even do I even want outrage for twenty? Is it even worth it? Not really. I don't think this math matter. Eh, it might. Does it ever matter? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just beach for one card and just hope for the best. Yeah, seems better. But yeah, Entei Suicune Legend. This is probably the last time any of you will ever see a Legend card in action, unless they magically add it to live in like twenty years in the future. But this card is really cool and was in the original Truth deck. And yes. oh. all right, one heads this yeah. time. All right, the legend cards are definitely super, super cool. Um, yep, they were played pretty sparsely over their lifetime. This card in the truth, and then there was someone who got top four at worlds back in 2010 with Ente Raiko Legend. Yep, um, but other than that, like those cards really they, they were really more kind of collector pieces. Think of them like the V Union cards, right? It's kind of like Something that was meant to just be a cool collectible thing, but never was really something I think that was meant to be competitive. Um, but people still found a way to to utilize them at times. Exactly, yeah. And uh, there, were, there's another legend that's really good, Rayquaza Deoxys legend. I considered playing sure. a, I, re, I considered doing that for a uh, video, but or a deck for uh, today, but I decided against it because I was like, Entei Suicune Legend's cooler, and we actually might get to use it here. All right, so I'm actually in an interesting position. Yeah. I, it's kind of a ballsy play. Huh. So you could KO your own Reshiram. Yep. I'm thinking if that's the play or not. I can knock out the Reshiram, and I can finally knock out your Mew. But then you paralyze this. I don't want to be in that situation. But I'm also... I'm um, also... And the thing about Entei mm. Suicune Legend as well is it's two Pokemon. Yep. So it does give up two prize cards. Exactly. And that's a big deal. I don't know if I want to do this play or not. Because I can get a prize, but will that do me any good? It might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go for it. Right. I don't know if this is correct, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Because Reshi Ram, it's not really doing much anyways, I feel like. So we're going to go for the Ante. We're gonna twins again. Go ahead and yeah. grab. You know, let's grab these two. Grab a you, Mewtwo and a Reshi Ram. You can do so much cool stuff with the Reuniclus, just like this. You can um, also like active. Like it didn't work in this instance, right? But like, mm -hmm. say we're in a position where we're both the same prize cards. You could theoretically activate twins on a turn where your opponent might not have it otherwise, right? So exactly. Yep. A lot of and, cool things. Yeah, Reuniclus is pretty good. And now the question will be though, can I? Can I win this game with my board state? Because it might be hard to actually beat your uh, your kind of loop here. And that Mr. Yeah. Mime was a pretty big bench. I yeah, maybe should have went for the snipe instead of the uh, the knockout there. Because I figured... Did you have the energy? Yeah. Because I figured the Mr. Mime was going to come down. Yeah. But eh, it's fine. We'll see so what I we can think do I'm it. just going to go for this. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That's it's like always you gotta hold your breath a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Come on, no, no. shot. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, man. Oh. And that's really once this deck gets to a board state against a deck that doesn't have an out, that's really the only way you ever lose is yep. whenever um whenever those um tails flips come in, like the double tails turns. Yeah, and that was a pretty big that was a pretty big hit there. I was hoping to maybe get another prize, but I think eventually, I, I, I think inevitably you will have a turn where you will flip quad tails. It's, I think it'll happen once. But I mean, the it. fact that there's so, because of Reuniclus, it is going to take a long time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, because you can always move the damage off. Exactly. So. Yeah, we might Go be here for, for a minute. This is an interesting mirror. 
it does have cool. to be four tails in a row. Yeah. yeah I will, uh, that'll make things pretty interesting, I want to say, to try to see who's Ooh. actually going to win this. Ooh. I'm kind of surprised you didn't move any damage off because if I get double heads here, I just knock this out. Oh, that's true. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't do. I did not do the math in that. I did not do the math <laughs> there. I thought I actually had um, 90 HP left. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll see if I get it. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't get it, but I don't think I'm going to go for it. I think yeah, it would risky. be pretty bad if I chose to flip again and didn't get it. Yeah, that's a little too risky for sure. But I do have a cool play I can do. We can damage swap. We can take yep. all the damage off the Entei and put it onto yep. the Reshi Ram here. And then I do have another cool play I can do this oh, turn. Oh, snap. Yeah. So put all the damage on the Reshi Ram. Not going to KO it. I don't think not going to would really do much. And then we'll put all the damage there. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the... Well, once this does... This is one thing about Re Reuniclus on TCGO. The animation is actually pretty long. <laughs> yeah. So. Reuniclus, Dusknor, all the animations are kind of tough with these type of abilities. But there's really not a great solution. There oh! isn't. No, the Seeker. All right. They How many heal. of those things do you have is what I'm worried yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll actually take this opportunity to pick up an energy though off my, uh, off my, uh, what's this thing called? Relicanth. So I'm definitely grateful for that, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's pretty fair, pretty fair. Yeah, it's the All one right. downside of Seekers. We both have to pick up our Pokemon. If it was just me, it'd be pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh. a little worried about how many of those things <laughs> you may <Yeah>. have. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pass again. You do. Now, have... I haven't hmm. seen anything that makes me think you had. You, that you have like the Blissey Prime or something. That's about the only thing I'm worried about. That's yep. something Ross played in his Truth deck. Mm -hmm. But I'm ooh, oh, oh hang on, I'll continue this thought in a moment. Ooh, nice, okay, nice. <laughs> Double heads too. Dang, okay. Um, but yeah, the fact that I'm seeing you have a couple EX Pokemon in your deck that I know Ross didn't play um, makes me think it's pretty likely those are the the swaps that were likely to be made yeah it might be it might be i don't know there's a there's a bliss scene here there could be you never know but uh yeah we're gonna put all the damage here on the rushy ram again i guess and then uh there's no shot this is another seeker <laughs> it might be you never know <laughs> oh my gosh oh man yeah we'll go here and yep seeker <laughs> let's go why did you, how, okay, okay, okay. The double seeker, let's go. <laughs> that is kind of the point of this deck. I don't know why I'm surprised by that, to be honest. That is, yeah, that's true. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm actually going to pick this up. Ooh, all right, yeah. I'm just going to pass. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. we are in a pretty interesting little stalemate here for sure. Um, so, you didn't put down your... Rush your ram, so I could in it out of your hand here. Oh, yeah, you could. Right. Yeah. You do have time to, like, get it back, obviously. But mm -hmm. I think that's probably... I mean, you're going to have, like, a bunch of turns to get it back. Yeah. I think I'm going to hold off. Okay. Um, and we'll just go for the double freeze. Yeah, plus, well, plus I have beach, too, right? So... Oh. Yeah. Ooh, every time you start with double tails, I get pretty happy, <laughs> but... Uh, was not meant to be this is gonna be a long one here maybe you should have turned on the match timer for this <laughs> yeah it might have been a good idea uh-huh yep oh man yeah this might be a long one we might be here for a minute <laughs> uh, no oh, man. yeah we might be here for a while that's fine though we'll uh do i risk the double heads i mean you could always just put the damage on like mewtwo and then move it off right that's true yeah yeah that's fair enough yeah, let's put some damage on Mewtwo, I guess, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll put it all on Mewtwo. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if I have a true win condition, because you might have more. Did I just put the damage back on? Oh, I did. Rip I mean, you do have five prize cards. Yeah. Yeah, this one. So that's the thing. Mm -hmm. You got to get out of the lock and also take five prizes. And yep. then, like, if this Mew goes down, if you get out of the lock once, I have another Mew. Yep. Right? That's ready to go. Yep. I'll just see if you can get. Oh, okay, I was going to say, you get double tails again. But, uh, yeah, this is where things get shaky. So I think maybe when I did my Entei attack, I think I should have sniped your Victini. 
looking back, it might have been correct mm. to snipe the Victini there. But yeah, yeah I'm thinking thinking about my win con here honestly because we would be here for a while but i don't know if i can even win in time with what i was thinking of doing i might have to yeah i might have to scoop this one because i don't know if i can win by deck out anymore which is a problem because that's what i was thinking yeah. i was like i can maybe deck you out but i don't even know if i have enough damage counters to deck you out either the more i think about it because yeah. yeah losing that cure me x was pretty bad you're gonna have to damage yourself at some point right like yeah I or like to ko your own things yeah this is this is pretty grim i don't think i can get out of the lock so i think i'm actually just yeah i'll give this one yeah I'll scoop this up we're gonna be here for that's a minute fair. but yeah i <laughs> thinking about it i don't know if i can win i don't think i can win by deck out i was hoping i could but yeah. I, you I still should have a couple enough. in left so yeah like yeah, it was gonna be a while. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that was ever gonna resolve. Um, and I also think you maybe could have just won by just enough damage racked up over time. I because I couldn't really attack with Mewtwo there because Mewtwo yeah. was weak to Psychic. So, yeah. And that's that's the idea of the <laughs> Vanillix <laughs> Unpheasant Mew Vileplume deck. That exactly right there. Yep. Um, to super fun and strategic to get set up but once you're set up it is like very straightforward and zero fun for your opponent exactly and we were both playing the vile plume decks my deck plays a little differently my deck tries to move damage around and keep my pokemon from ever being killed in one hit while your build is more about just trying to control and lock people up and that was a better showcase of how the deck operates you know when when there's no Kelvio ex in the deck it becomes a little bit easier for you to use yeah yeah, yeah. But easier for you to use Vanelks and Vileplume. And, uh, Mew, uh, I've, that's kind of been my, one of my pet decks for the format, like pretty much as long as it's, as long as I've had, um, as long as I've like played this, you know. Um, I didn't play a Legacy a bunch when it like initially came out, but when I started playing Legacy a lot, that was like one of the first decks I kind of went to. Um, because, ooh, all right, so you switched decks up on yep. me, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, all right take my mulligan and we're getting to this next one fair enough all right we have an okay start i think you're going first right Ooh, the execute yeah okay i think i know what we're up against here all yeah. right we'll see if you are correct yeah there it is a sneasel i figured it was gonna be weavile so it's gonna be a battle the single prize decks and you might be slightly maybe not i don't know if you're favored but we'll see how it goes we'll end you going first definitely then gave you a big advantage here. Yeah, and that's just kind of the nature of single prizer matchups, right? Whoever yep. goes first and get like more so than whoever goes first, but like whoever gets the first knockout is gonna be at a pretty big advantage. Yeah. All right. This hand. So I just hope pretty... you gotta miss a beat. I think that's the main thing I'm praying for is you miss a beat at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So fair enough. Let's see if I can piece together the knockout this turn. Ooh, okay, um, that could be pretty is... big. Yeah. Entirely possible. I do have to get a little lucky off my Juniper draw, mm -hmm. but okay. it is not unreasonable. I don't think just check a prize or two real quick. Yeah. Okay. So we vile eggs. We talked about how Verzian Genesect was kind of the best deck in the legacy format um for a long time. And I think that that eventually got to the point where, in a lot of players' minds, that was replaced by Weavile Eggs. I think a lot of people, there was a point where people consider Weavile Eggs to be the best deck in the, the Legacy format. Yeah, I agree. I think Weavile Eggs is definitely the, maybe the, I think it's the best single prizer deck for sure. It definitely sure, sure. is strong. And oh, wow, that was a very good Professor Oak's new theory. We got the Rare Candy Garchomp right off the oh. rip. Oh, snap. So Ooh, I did think good. about retreating into Sneasel so you didn't get like a free. Oh, no, actually, this does 60. What? Yeah. I'm misremembering. I thought this <laughs> only did 40. 40, yeah. Oh, gosh, he's broken. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only downside about this play, though, is I'm, I'm stuck with a small hand. I really wanted a Gabite there. I think if I had a Gabite that turn, that would have been pretty clean. Yeah, you're vibing if you get a Gabite. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I did have it. I think I, I might have actually had a Gabite. I had a card Bro, in my hand doing? that could have got me Gabite, but <laughs> but I would have did had you to take off your prize. No, I think I, I think I, I think I had it. I just didn't think I saw that play. I, I had a Pokemon throwing, communication. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think of that play though. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Big shout outs to the shiny Garchomp though. Super sick. Yeah, it is I a love clean these card. Love, love, love these black, white era, uh, shiny. 
Pokemon so good. Yeah, I agree. Garchomp, Ultra Ball, Execute, Empoleon, Garbodor. They're just so nice. And they, it is nice that they're continuing the gold cards, but they're just never going to match how good these cards looked. Yeah, I totally, totally agree. Yeah, I got to hope you with an energy here. Yeah, no shot. Mm. <laughs> there it is. I did with an energy last turn, but yeah. not this turn. It's pretty good. So I think you can knock me out. You just got to do 100 and... 50 damage so four execute is 120 damage so if you have one more pokemon to discard in your hand you will be able to take a knockout on my garchomp which is pretty big considering yep. i'm gonna be behind a bit here dang yeah uh so you did get the first knockout but it is a little harder for you to stream attackers together um especially with not having a gabite last turn so now you have to get rare candy guard chomp if you want to attack again yep and if you want to knock out weavile you need rare candy plus guard chomp plus alteria and then that's actually even only 80 damage isn't it yeah it's not not a lot yeah i yeah this might be tough all right we'll see what we can string together here um, I guess had I went gab out, I would have had the guard chomp, but I don't think I would have attacked you because I still would have not had the knockout. So I think I'm gonna have to. Hmm, it's actually not great. I didn't get a uh, did not get what I was really after. So let's do junk arm. We'll get rid of these two. Grab her candy. Mm, okay. Also the beach again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I just gotta try to build up a bigger hand here. Uh, yeah, not getting not getting Altarias in play is going to be a big deal, but I might still be able to string something together. We'll have to see, though. I'm going to go for Professor X's new theory. Yep. Really just mainly looking for an energy drop here. That's kind of the main piece of my deck that I'm ever worried about is keeping up on energy attachments because my attack does take two energy. So it's really nice to try to get an energy attachment every turn. Now, obviously, even if I don't have any energy in play, I can still pull off an attack thanks to Dark Patch, but I don't want to be in that position if I don't have to be. I want to get energy down every turn if I can. Exactly. And I, I like how you're using the Reverse Hollow uh, Dark Patch that have the gold one. That is pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah, bro. I gotta stay... I, I, unlike you, I try to stay <laughs> to era-appropriate cards, cards here with your yeah. <laughs> disgusting team-up Pokemon <laughs> communication. Yep. Oh, man. That's funny. Uh, we'll get this, and then I'll Junk Arm. Don't think I'm gonna need this in this matchup. Probably won't need that either. I'll get rid of these two. Grab the Pokemon communication. The disgusting one. Yep, the, the bad one. I wanted to get the, the gold silver one, but I was, like, crunched on time. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. I'm just Yeah, go yeah, on. yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I this is my, like, demo account, so I've got a little bit of an edge there mm -hmm. where... Yeah, you I got everything, have, yeah. have all the cards, so... Yeah, I used to kind of have a demo account. My main account was pretty stacked, but yeah. It was. It definitely was. Was a lot of that stuff locked, though? Is that why, um... Yeah, most of my, like, legacy cards were locked and everything, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's research here, and all right. So the fact that you only got mm -hmm. one Altaria established up to this point makes things a little awkward for you because you can't knock out Weavile, right? It's, it's yeah, point, right? makes so. things hard. I actually whiffed the... I whiffed the card I was looking for. I whiffed the energy to knock you out Dragon Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This did have an energy on it last turn, yep. Yeah, sometimes going to go into Smeargle, which still feels kind of bad, not going to lie, but... Best play I can make, and uh, then... And that's annoying, too, because you did get an energy. It was just the wrong energy. Gee, yeah. Ooh, and you have a research. Ooh, that feels kind of bad. Because I, yeah, I, I was holding on to a few Ooh. good cards, yeah. Mm. Tough. That, make, that makes up for it, though. We can play this Super Rod. Get back these three. And then... Let's beach for one. Seems good. So you chose not to transfer a lot of the, like, cool gold cards and stuff from this era over to live because, like, you could have, right? Well, I actually had a lot of them on my account. I think I had, like, nine Garchomps. What? <laughs> Holy cow, bro. Yeah, I, I had a lot. I guess it doesn't matter because you can also just, like, craft them on live for basically nothing. So oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really matter, matter, I guess. Yeah. I wish I could transfer like... over the, the gold Ultra Balls, but, yeah, I only had the—I gave away, like, three of them or something. So, 
Yeah, dude. I mean, you just go 2,000 credits and you can just have them. So. Exactly, yeah. It's just super What are your easy thoughts to... on, like, I know you were a big, like, fan of the trading and, like, mm -hmm. or I don't know about trade. I, I actually don't know for sure if you were a big fan of trading, but I know actually, you're just, was, like, yeah, a big yeah, fan of, like, the, the, like, the grind of getting a lot of the, like, rare and exclusive stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of taken away with the whole crafting system because uh, you can just make any card, right? Yep. Um, how, how do you feel about that, you know, as someone who loved to trade and get all these rare exclusive cards, the fact that literally anyone, if they just have enough credits, can go grinding crap for them? I mean, it, it's respectable to the game because it's like, it's fair enough because people got to... You know, people got to get what they can when they can. And it's fair because it gives people a chance to actually get cards they need now instead of the other way around. But part of me does kind of feel sad. I do kind of miss the, uh, like, the exclusivity of having the the cards, you know, on my own account. But it's, or, like, having the having the rare cards. It, it was nice to have that, like, kind of, like, exclusivity factor. But honestly... It gives people a chance, and trading is something that I do miss because I did like trading for the big stuff. I, I'm literally rocking the Thunder's Vivid Sleeves right now, which are literally the most, like, rare, expensive item on the game. Um, or they were anyways. Uh, I'm pro they're probably cheaper now because the game's, like, shutting down, so I'm pretty sure everyone yeah, just... they're probably worth literally nothing. Like, I don't know who would want them at this point, right? Because the game yep. closes in a week. Yeah. But it is a nice piece of sad. PDC Joe history, though, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. Super sick that you have them definitely still like the fact that they exist right that you had them at some point yeah even if they go away yep i i had the mewtwo ones too at one point back in 2016 where they were when they were like super duper cheap but uh that was like that was a long time ago and i ended up trading them off which i should have kept them because i didn't you know eventually they became like insanely valuable um i got the thunder sleeves when the uh when live got announced when the beta was coming out in 20 last year 2022 so I traded for these for a decent deal, um, and the game got delayed by, like, a whole year. So I had these on my account for, like, a whole year, which was pretty cool because they went right back up in price. Yeah, you got to to hold on to those for a while. That's super cool. Yeah, and I'm going to miss using them. I mean, it's just a it's a nice piece of PDC Joe history. Just the Victini, Deoxys, Thunders, Mewtwo sleeves. It's just, if you're a rich trader player from the TCGO era, you know, you're probably going to know about these. Um, I'm pretty sure these were available for gems in the shop back when they had gems in this game. And yeah, I, but it was, like, yeah. super early on. Like, not a lot of people played, and not a lot of people were spending money on the game as well, right? Exactly, yeah. It was, like, way, yeah, it was, like, really early on in the game. And that was the thing, too. Like, I think these went away in 2014, so I might have remembered seeing these in the shop. Like, I think I I think I remember when these were in the shop way back in the day when I first started playing TCGO in 2014, because I think these came out when furious fist came out in 2014 these like left the shop when furious fist came out and then we had the xerneas evil tall sleeves and i think these were in the shop when i first started playing but i never picked up on buying them kind of regret that now i could have been sitting on uh, quite a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah for sure yeah i forget your uh canadian yeah because <laughs> <laughs> you because like the that was the thing about gems is like you could only purchase them these items in canada so that's part of the reason why they're so exclusive and so rare is because it was only like one country that had access to it even and it was not even the largest country where the player base existed right exactly it was a smaller place and that's the funny thing too when uh, when they announced that gems were going away i think i was i was in class and i was gonna buy a bunch of the charizard avatar items before they left the shop and i think because i was in class i wasn't able to like get on tc joe in time and by the time i got on the gems were already removed and i wasn't able to buy them and i was like no because i was gonna buy a ton of charizard boxes and just have a bunch of charizard items on my account that i could just trade off and uh i missed out on the ballpark because i was in class and uh, wasn't able to get on pc joe in time yeah Sorry for how annoying this process is, but it takes it's forever all to use yeah, that... <laughs> in this game. Definitely not fun, and especially no. when you're, like, junk arming and... Yeah, execute, execute. It probably would be worse on live, to be fair, because probably. live would be a bit slower, which, yeah, we, we'd, be, we'd be here all night if it was live. <laughs> and honestly, dude, they'd probably, like, the timer would start counting down even after using execute or something like that. Like, yep, 100%, 100%. I don't think you can test execute right now because expanded doesn't have execute in it. So yep. it's not able to well, be proven, but I'm pretty sure the game would break 100%. Hey, listen, man, with the 
sunset of ptcgo the beta of tcg live is ending so we're definitely going to see a huge update and tons of improvements <laughs> yeah that's not happening no shot uh, my no. prediction for the the beta i don't know when you're going to put this video out if it's going to be before the sunset and the beta and stuff uh, yeah, yeah. officially ends but my prediction for the end of the tcg live beta is that they're just going to remove the word beta from the shop or from the game everywhere and that is it that's like yeah. my prediction nothing oh, else 100 percent. yeah i i agree they're probably not gonna they're probably not gonna do too much in the way of like actually like fixing the game in my opinion i mean i i'm hopeful that they do as a content creator i kind of need them to but i'm yeah i'm not putting much stock in that i i don't think the update's gonna change much like maybe it might maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong but I, I guarantee you it probably won't. Because I, I think they've already put more effort into live anyways now that PDCGO hasn't had any updates since, like, what, February or something? So, yeah, like, I think they've already been doing extra work on the game anyways. No shot. No shot! Yeah. I did yeah, get a little lucky alive. there to get yeah. there, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and that might be GG's. I do have one more... I have one more thing I can maybe do to try to win this game, but... I, I haven't seen tried to this. bench my Voltor before mm -hmm. last turn. I, I probably could have, to be honest, and I just didn't. Yeah, because I, I think I grabbed N preemptively to prepare for this, but this is actually pretty bad because, yeah, you just go down to one prize, so we'll see. I do have one win condition, maybe, but I don't know if I can do it because I haven't seen a card in your deck yet, so I don't know if you have it or you do have it because there is one way I could maybe <laughs> win this game. Okay. Oh, you're, it's definitely Silver Bengal just again, right? Because <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, does he play Tool Scrapper? Yeah, does he have the Scrapper or not? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. If you have the Scrapper, then yeah, I can't. The Silver Mirror won't work, unfortunately, and that could yeah, be a Silver big Mirror, deal. Yeah, 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 Silver Mirror, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Uh, I am taking the knockout here, but it's going to take just a, another two minutes while yep. I'm executing. <laughs> so. Yep. That is one thing I'll say about PCGO. Some of the actions did take a while. Like, you even saw in that last game there with three Uniclus, it was taking yeah. quite a while to damage swap all the... And Dustnor is the same issue, too. Dustnor is also the same problem. All right, here we go. All right, Vilify. And the thing is, is, like, I just don't know how, if there is a great fix for it, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it makes sense that these... I mean, like, the animations should exist, right? They should be in the game. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just kind of is what it is. Um, oh, so you're not even attacking? Yeah, I can't. I can't do much here. I I don't have another junk arm to rare candy and a Garchomp. I think I just have to punt and pray I get the silver mirror. Which oh, sure. yeah, I did whip it. So, GGS. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it. I no, I do indeed play tool scrapper. <laughs> yeah, I figure there's a scrapper in there. Did you have it in your hand? No, well, I didn't get to see my hand off the end. Uh, oh, okay. The, the victory <laughs> screen popped up before I saw what I was going to get off end. But. Oh, no. All right. Hey, man, we're tied up. Two we to are. two, buddy. We are. We got two decks each remaining. I think you still have a fourth deck that I haven't... I forget what it was, actually. So I guess yeah, we're going to find out. I sent it to you. I told you what it was. Yeah. I already, I already forgot what it is, though. I'm not going to lie. It's I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you because I know what yours are. It's okay, Nine Tails yeah. Amoongus. Right. Nine Tails, yes. Nine Tails Amoongus. So that is right. the one I'm probably honestly the most worried about winning <laughs> mm -hmm. with. Uh, it's definitely one that's kind of a pet deck. Mm -hmm. Not the strongest. And it's really best against like two prize decks. Yeah. And both of your decks remaining are not two prize decks. So. Yeah. Both of my decks definitely might give you a hard time. With that, but Nine Tails Amoongus is a pretty cool, fun rogue deck. I know it's one of the the best like budget friendly legacy decks. A nice yeah. start from both of us. <laughs> yeah, well, yours is probably gonna be a little better because all I had was a pass. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's kind of funny. We both start with the Mister Mime. You got the Reverse Hollow Mime though, so you're you're flexing on me with that. Listen, bro, <laughs> I have four of them, so that's true <laughs> you got four <laughs> i'll have to donate you a tropical beach here but uh that's fine okay okay yeah i had to give I'll you the beach a welcome donation mm -hmm. to be fair your hand is pretty big so there's a world where yeah. maybe you can't play your hand down if we're lucky well i am gonna play a pond here okay. i did have in as well but mm -hmm. you didn't play a supporter so i think i'm kind of fine to just go for this and dude fuck yeah it. that's fair somehow i oh, don't no. have a freaking vulpix oh no or a level ball or anything anything yeah 
And this is good. This does give me some time to set up my board. And this is one thing Garchomp likes. If Garchomp can get like an extra turn where you don't do much, it's a really good opportunity for me to just kind of chill out, sit back, and build my board up. And that is exactly what I am going to do. Ninetales, I think has 90 HP. So I actually still need double Altaria if I'm going to knock that out. So we're going to go here. Honestly, I don't even really have to do Dragon Call. I guess what I can do is I can Pokecom for another Swablu. We're just going to get as many things in place we can. And we're just going to beach. And we're just going to build up our hand and uh, set up our board a little bit and try to establish a pretty good yeah. board state here. It seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm a little worried about my position here. This is looking a little tough to be honest. All right, let's yeah. go with this. Okay, the laser, yep. And la I guess, yeah, we haven't really shown laser yet. Laser... I guess we did. Well, I guess I used it against Virgen Cell, but Laser definitely is one of the strongest cards. Not only just Legacy, but just like I think in, in the entirety of the game. It's just such a yeah. strong card. Yeah. I agree. All right. So I do finally have a Vulpix joining the party. Nice, and, nice. There he is. Uh, attach as well and mm -hmm. pass. Mr. Mine will take a little bit of damage. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. It's actually a interesting spot to be in here so i think we're gonna go do this gonna do this we're just gonna dragon call we're gonna chain the gabites and the garchomps i think here so unfortunately i don't think i can take a knockout this turn well can i let me let me dragon call again do i have an out to knock you out i might okay i think i will go for it it's fair to go for it here so let's go get you down dragon call again for garchomp and my whole bench right now is just all dragons. This is a pretty clean bench. And then we're going to play to Tropical Beach, go to that Verbank, and then we're going to Colrus here. And I'm going to hope for a switch. No Did shot. not get it, yeah. We'll just pass, I guess. Okay, so if I can find a Verbank, I can actually get like a free knockout on the Mime here, which is pretty good. Ooh, that's true, yeah. I, th I thought about retreating, but I actually think it's probably just correct to give you the mine. Because I know Ninetales does have an ability that gusts anyways, so... It does, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Um... Hmm. I guess we'll see what we got here with this N. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is interesting for me as well. Um... I could try to... Yeah, I think this is fine. I'm going to go like this. Okay, you have the computer search. And I guess that does guarantee the potential Verbank City. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going for it. I think I'm just going to beach this turn, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's tough. Taking this prize would be so good, mm -hmm. but then my hand is not the strongest, to be honest. I guess I could do... Mm. Hmm. Okay, here's... Okay. All right, I gotta play. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. I like to hear this it. Is actually, kind of a. This is kind of good. This is kind of good. Okay. Yeah. I do have to lose a couple good cards. I'm gonna lose a nine tails and a, um, lose a nine tails and a devolution spray to do yep. it. Okay. But I am gonna get a passive knockout and fill my hand up with Cleffa. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's and if you flip heads here, that could be pretty big actually. Yeah. Okay. So if you yeah, if you stay asleep here, this could be pretty big. I want to flip tails. Nice. I oh, do flip tails. Nice. All right, that's a pretty big turn. All right, that's fine. We're gonna promote Garchomp, and I'll bend Swablu. Huh. That's actually a really good stadium bump too. Cause I really got much going on. It's gonna dragon call again, I guess. And we'll dragon call again. And then I'll just mock cut for nothing and hope you stay asleep. All right. Ooh. That's good. That's good. Ah, uh, okay. So you, you saw the <laughs> animation before I did, so I didn't yep. realize I stayed asleep. But <laughs> all right. Is what it is. Is what it is. Okay. So okay. this I is where I that. can try to make. Yeah, I think this seems worth it. So we'll okay. evolve into a Moongus. Yep. Gonna use Spore Prize, one of my favorite ability names, to be honest. Spore Prize. That's an interesting name for sure. Yeah, and I'm confused and poisoned, yes. which is pretty so relevant. 
a solid combo, and I'm going to go for N. You do have a pretty decent sized hand over there. Yeah, a lot of dragons. A little bit mm -hmm. of help as well. So I do get another Volpix, which is nice. And I'm going to pass. Hope to flip tails once more. Yep. Nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. The Verbank City actually does apply extra damage too, which is pretty tough. Yes. Yes. Hmm. So I do have an interesting play I can make here, and I think I am going to go for it. So let's Dragon Call a couple times. Get some more Dragoons in my hand. You and are I... fully set up now, my friend. Yep, we got the we got the definitive Garchomp board. But I do have this, Pokemon Reversal. Ooh. But I flip tails. We're going to try that again. We're going <laughs> to go ahead and try that again. Let's get We're rid of We're getting these. it back. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> We're running it back. All right, come on, flip heads. Let's go. Yay. All right. What do I knock out? Though? I think we just knock out that Volpix. Yeah, I'm going to do this. We're going to retreat into Gabite. Yep. Yep, and we're going to put a Garchomp in. Catch the energy. Yep. I can do another... Sense. Yeah, I can do another funny play. We can max potion the Garchomp off. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And then Not I can sure Juniper. Relevant it is, but it's cool. You can do it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It might pay off. And yeah, we'll just mock cut, I guess, for the knockout. Pretty okay. clean turn right there. Not too bad, I agree. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Still have still have a decent amount of junk arms too, which could be pretty good. So that was a pretty good turn for sure. So you did have the foresight to set up multiple Altaria. Mm -hmm. Um, which is pretty good for you, to be honest, because what I would ideally have liked to have done is Bright Look, KO and Altaria, if you mm -hmm. only had two set up. Um, but at this point, I probably just have to try to get through whatever you have as the active Pokemon every single turn and force you to, like, find energy. Is yeah, 100%. Best play. Yeah, you just kind of have to just play aggressive here and do thing. Because that's the first thing I thought of when I was like, okay, I can get two Altarias. But then I'm like, Ninetales has that ability when you evolve it, you can gust the Altaria. And I did not, yeah, yeah I didn't want to be in that scenario. So definitely, I think it was correct to go for the, uh, go for the triple Altaria there. The Mime definitely could have clogged my bench up a little bit, but... The mime's now been dealt with, so now I just have the full board. Sadly missing that third gold Altaria. But uh, you know. Yeah. And yeah, we don't we don't talk I mean, about what that. Are, what are we what are we doing here? For real, man. Like, exactly, yeah. <laughs> unacceptable to be honest. <laughs> yeah, could could have had the could have had the entire board blinged out with gold dragon Pokemon, but you know. That's not how we operate over here. <laughs> Better luck next time. Exactly. And then interesting too, you are you are discarding a lot of supporters, and I think that's your third junk arm now, or second junk arm. So you're definitely exhausting resources, which could be pretty good. And there is the nine tails coming down. You got that promo nine tails too with bright look. Yep. And I think this yep. should be a knockout with the Verbank in play, right? Yep. 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 Hmm. Maybe I should have held my beach then. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can I had to play the beach to start the game, but if I still had access to a beach, I'd be chilling. It's yeah, I, I feel you, for sure. Yeah, let's send in the Garchomp, and uh, this is basically the long journey of just setting up everything. So we're just going to play the Super Rod here, Yep. get back the entire Garchomp line. And we're at a point where it's a lot easier for you to get your attackers established every turn than it is for me, right? Because yep. you just have to evolve right and attach one energy card pretty much oh and you get a twins here that's super good yeah whereas for me every single turn <laughs> i have to find a nine tails find an energy card find an amoongus or a toxic laser and flip heads mm -hmm. um so, so yeah, yeah you have to work extra hard to get there and i yeah i could just sit back and just kind of do my thing i think with garchomp here okay well i mean hmm. I do technically. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it's definitely a little awkward. You have to work a little bit harder to I think deal I with the to... charm. I, I need time, I think, is what I need. So right. I'm going to do this, and okay. I got to hope that Cleffa can help me out a little bit here. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's really what I got to do here. And maybe I can sneak another poison knockout or something like that, like I did earlier. Yep. We'll see if you wake up, too. And that's going to be a big deal. Ooh, you do yeah. wake up. Yeah. It does force you to have an evolution and an energy, but you do have a pretty big hand. And obviously, you can guarantee the Garchomp. Yeah, we can. Yeah, get the Gabite. Get the Garchomp. 
And yeah, we do have the uh, the energy here. So we'll just retreat. And actually, interesting enough, you don't have a fungus down, so you can't go for the the spore here. So we're just gonna yeah do this, and then I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna take the knockout here with mock cut, take Great. another prize, and then we'll go from there. See what this middle card is. All right. And yeah, I can just kind of sit here and do my thing with Garchomp. I think I might wanna. Hmm. Maybe I should. Eh. I was thinking about maybe playing a junk arm there last turn to do something, but I don't think it's fine. I don't really got to play junk arm just yet. Kind of waiting to see what your play is going to be this turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to... My plays are honestly pretty limited. I did prize yeah. a couple, um, or a Vulpix here mm -hmm. as well, so I can't get a replacement one either. So I'm going to take this knockout, go down swinging, yeah. but yeah, this fair one's going to be pretty wrapped for me. And yeah. Of course, I do take the full fix off the next prize. Of course, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna be way too far behind at that point, so I'll save us both the time and just concede. Yeah. Oh, and I'm really worried um... about this because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat <laughs> the truth with that deck. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the, it is. Yeah, it is. It's kind of kind of poetic that the the final deck you have to take down is the truth. Is but I, like I have that. two decks to try to do it with, so that's true. You do have you do have you know, the odds. The odds could be in your favor. You have the Nine Tails deck, and then you have yeah, you got the you got the Genesect. Genesect. Honestly, both of those might actually be difficult for my deck to deal with. I'm thinking about. That is true. I do have the Gust effect, yeah. right? Which yeah. is good. All right, so that does actually make things pretty interesting. Yeah, you do have Gust, and that might complicate things. But yeah, we'll see. I the truth was built. Back in the day to beat what the meta was at the time. Um, I don't even think the truth played Reshiram. The original truth played Zekrom because Yen Mega Prime was so popular. But uh now we're playing um now we're playing Reshiram because Verizon Genesis is so popular. Yes. Kinda weird how that works. Yep. So the Mulligan. Ooh, we get to see what this is. What did I go with? Ooh, yeah, I figured it was gonna be Virgen so. Fair enough, fair enough. Mix it up a little bit here. Yeah. We'll be if we go to a full game seven, we'll see if we can make it happen. Yeah, maybe possible. All right. So oh, it's an interesting hand. I am worried about the donk. You'd have to get the nuts though. Like you'd have to have that G booster and everything. Like nah. Yeah, and I'd have to get a Celebi in the active and get back into Genesect. Like. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna say it's unlikely. Hopefully, I'm right. Let's see if I have this. There is actually a really good attacker in this deck I have in this matchup. Ooh, I actually have a really cool play I can make here. This kind of... Do I go for it? Yeah, I think I will go for this play. This is actually... Yeah, I think this is a good play. We're going to go Pichu. Ooh, ooh, okay. I like... Yeah, I like this play because I kind of need I'm to set up... I'm fine with this play. Yeah, this is... Oh, I can't... No, <laughs> you can't attack going first? All right, that's fine, that's fine. You're not going to donk me. You're not going to donk me. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, I, for... I th Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think that's actually so fair. Is... Interesting, because it actually mm. opens up a Verizian attack into Pichu. Ooh, forgot about that. Which is normally not something you can do. Right. Um, ah, like, this deck, like, Verizian Genesect was, like, the deck back in 2014, right? Yep. But in this format, you don't really attack with the Verizian. No, yeah, it just um, sits on the bench, blocks laser, basically. Yeah, you're, yeah. it's really just all about Celebi. Yep. Um, One head, okay. that's good. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of pray you don't have it. I kind of, I just thought I could do playground. Honestly, I think it's fine. The more I think about it. Ooh, that's a pretty good smear goal. There's, oh, this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pull this playoff, but you might be able to win this turn. I don't know if you can pull this playoff. Bro, though. how would I win? You'll see. You'll see. Oh, seeker. Yep. Yep. No, bro, what do you think I have in my four card hand? <laughs> yeah, you don't got it like that. You don't got it. Like that. Wait, if Seeker is your only thing, I don't want to attach my energy first. Hold up. Is that your only supporter? Uh, you got a little free information from Matt here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attach and hope you have something else. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I don't even know if I want to end. Well, I guess you get to end, so maybe I should just. Yeah, maybe end. Just, yeah. You might have to just yeah, play it. Yeah. I don't really want to Seeker pick up my Genesect either, I guess. Yeah, but... it's not. Yeah, it's not great. It would have been nice if you, I guess, were forced to, because it would have reset your energy, which maybe could have made a difference. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of close to this Megalo Cannon. Um, Ooh, I don't, don't like to hear think that. I can do it, though. I don't think I can do it. Um, 
who were hopeful here. Yeah, I can't mm. quite do it, unfortunately. Nice, nice. Yeah, I kind of needed that reassurance. So yeah, I think last turn I should just let Fresh Frame in the active and then maybe just got like an Oddish or something or just held the Pokecom, but it's fine. Dodging the attack was pretty good. I will get the extra energy drop in play. That definitely yeah. seems worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Nice. The switch whiff. All right. Um, okay. What would be the best play here? So, hmm. Really wish I could get something down. I think we'll start the turn off with a Sage's training. See what we got going on here. Take that. And I don't think. Do I need. Hmm. I'll take these two, sure. That's okay. fair enough. And then we'll attach to Reshi Ram. That's a second one. Mm. And then yeah, we'll we'll playground here. So yeah, you're gonna be able to take full advantage of playground and build up your board, but that's fine. So we're gonna go do this. Yeah, I am fine with that. Yeah. I maybe should have grabbed the Don or the Fampy that I discarded, my other Fampy's prize, but I don't know if Don Fampy's super good in this matchup. I mean sixty damage yeah. isn't super great. Yeah. You gotta attack with something, but Yeah. I think the I think my main attack was gonna be Reshi Ram and the uh, for sure. the legend card. Now, I do have another card that's pretty good here. Ooh, uh, okay. I can get off the playground. It's one you saw in the last game. Yeah, I think I know what it is. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and I am going to go for it. Yeah. Uh, do I want to get rid of this, though? Hmm. Do I need the Solosis, or should I dish Reshi Ram? Hmm. Kind of tough. I got to dish Reshi Ram. Thinking about it, yeah. Ooh, I stay asleep. All right. Yeah, that's mm, decent. No plasma energy, hopium. We'll see. We'll see. I think that's wishful, wishful thinking there, buddy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping we can get the plume set up this turn. Though I'm basically praying that you don't get G booster down before I set bio plume. That would be the, uh, the big issue here. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. That could make things complicated if we get that G booster down right away. See how it goes. Ooh, this is a pretty good smeargle here for you after You gotta this. stop telling me that, bro. That's true, that's true. Well, I guess, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, per se. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you can see. Yeah, that's a yep. pretty good one. Yep. <laughs> that's bad. No, play the twins. Right. Play the twins. <laughs> so it's actually interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure I technically should not be able to choose twins on smeargle. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, but it does let me, so... That's um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, because you're we're tied in prizes. Be able to. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so I did get something you were hoping to not see. Yeah, I figured. Um, Nine card draw, it's, uh, the odds were pretty in your favor, I would say. Now, the question here is, what do I want to put it on? Do I want to put it on the one with two energy, that I'm going to mm -hmm. plasma energy this turn, or... Do I want to put it on the other one? I don't think there's much that's going to happen to this Genesect, so I think I'm fine. Fair enough. Load it here. Yep. Red signal. And this turn, I'm going after Solosis. Yeah, I do like that, yeah. Because Reuniclus definitely is a pretty big problem, 100%. Yeah, I mean, in your deck, it's kind of like the main strategy of your deck at a point, right? Like, yeah. I'm probably just going to G-booster that, so I think I'm going to... Just the damage here. Yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good Megalo Cannon, I would say. Uh, that's fine. So we're gonna go bring in the Pichu. I'll draw for turn. Now, yeah, and I do know you have twins in hand, obviously. So yeah. that is gonna be pretty good. So I can guarantee the Vile Plume, but do I want to go Vile Plume? Do I or do I want? I definitely want a Vile Plume, but do I want a Twins though? That's what I'm thinking here. I'm gonna start the turn with a Level Ball. Hmm. Might not be a bad play, actually, to do this. Do I want to have two babies in play, though? It's kind of grief. Could just play ground again. Playground might actually just be the better play. I think I like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to love Remember, you only get one. Remember, you only get one. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get okay. Gloom. And then 
yeah, I'll just go twins here for the uh, rare candy vial plume. Sure. Hmm. Question is, though, do I want to do the rainbow energy? Yeah. I think I got to. Just pray you don't got it like that. Here we go rare candy vial plume. Dang, bro. This guy's going for the blue flare. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is my only play. Yeah, we're just going to get the second Solosis down here with Playground. And stay asleep. Hey, all right. Yo, Pichu's a legend. Yeah, really wishing I had now <laughs> put 20 <laughs> damage on the Reshiram. Yeah. Didn't think about Rainbow Energy. I did not think about the damage counter from Rainbow Energy. Otherwise, I definitely would have put 20 here so I could threaten a Megalo Cannon Can. on this. Now yep. I have to G-boost your KO it, mm -hmm. which does not feel great. But Right. Not ideal. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think you got to go for it. It's too much of a threat. Yeah. Yeah. But that's fine. Eh, is it fine, though? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that G-Booster is pretty bad. Oh, it makes it even harder to do Mewtwo. The back-to-back -back Plasma Energy for me is pretty good, too. Yeah. That's fine. Um, ooh, that was an interesting top deck. All right. So I'll bench this. I think I have to go for the Mewtwo. And I'll play the uh, Chorus. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Okay. Eh. It's a lot of cards. It is a lot of cards, but unfortunately, it didn't really give me what I needed. Not the playground again, which somehow still works, even with that ditto. And I, oh, I wake up. No, Pichu, why you do this to me? Trying Oof. to stall, huh? Yeah, that's all I could all right, really man. do. Do you know what's worse than two plasma energy in a row? <laughs> Three? <laughs> Three yep. plasma energy in a row. <laughs> and I think yep. here, hmm. I, mean, I could take a two prize turn on... Pichu and Solosis, and that that honestly just seems worth it. Yeah, I, I think that's a fair play. Bring up Vile Plume and just like stick it active. Mm -hmm. But I think taking two prizes here is pretty good. Yeah, if you kill the Solosis, I can't set up another one, right? Yeah, and I think also this turn. Hmm. I mean, do I? I mean, this is a lot of cards, but I think I am just gonna play uh, Juniper. Yep. Yeah, dump the hand. Fair enough. If it's a lot of trainers, it makes sense. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Pretty decent stuff. And we're going hmm. for the Megalo Cannon. Knock out Pichu and Solosis. Yeah. Going down to two prizes left. Hmm. That's where things get sticky. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. I'll promote Mewtwo. And I'll draw for turn. Oh. There's one card I maybe could have drawn that actually could have kept me in the game. I don't know if there's much I can do here. I'm surprised to see some of the Mewtwo, honestly. Oh, the Skyro Bridge. Oh, facts. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, I don't know if this is correct, though. Well, I'm my, I, it's like my only win con. So I have to retreat Mewtwo into Cleffa. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm going to play N. Okay, sure. And I need to get two cards here to maybe be in a good spot. Oh, I didn't get it. No. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um,. Put hey, that listen, on. You can stall a lot of turns with Cleffa. Yeah, we're hoping that we we don't wake up. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, that might have been an okay eek. And oh my god, Cleffa, why did you do this to me? <laughs> oh my Cleffa god. Betrays you. Yeah. There's one specific card I was maybe hoping to get off of that end there. Like, well, two cards, technically. I was hoping to get the, the legend there to get that down. But yeah, it's not looking good here. No, I think I'm going to put this yeah, it's pretty fair. Hmm. I think that's uh gonna. I gotta tell you something. Yeah. I <laughs> took my last plasma energy off my prizes last turn. Yeah, I figured. I so figured. I was about to have four turns in a row of plasma. <laughs> yeah, I nothing like, I can. Please. Yeah. Ooh, the ERL though. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Just kind of yeah. checkmate. Yeah, we're gonna have to just swing for one twenty. GGs. Hey, buddy. We're going to a game number seven. We went all the way. Best of seven. Here yep. we go. See, I think I think really my only win con there was to get that Entei Legend down off of the end and then hope you didn't knock it out. And then I maybe could have taken four prizes with it. And with the item lock in play, it might be hard for you to chain well, together. I might have just G-boosted it. Well, I would have KO'd your I would have KO'd your Genesec though oh, with the G-booster. Yeah. Wait, with the Entei that turn? Well, yeah. Bro, so how? I, I would have, I would have hoped to end into the Entei, get an energy on it, eek, 
and then Gawente oh, the next turn. Stay asleep. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 So I guess it's I, I guess it's the ultimate battle here. The Nine Tails of Moongus deck versus the Truth. What this rogue is deck? possibly a matchup that has never been played until right now. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> this is a cursed matchup. I honestly don't even know who's favored here. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Yeah, this is man, not what I would have expected <laughs> for our like legacy send off video. Yeah. You know? I agree. This is, this is a very, very interesting match. And I, I don't even know if I want to use Vile Plume. Well, I guess I have to, but, but I don't even know. This is yeah, a definitely My deck plays a lot of item cards, so. Yep. See, so, yeah, I guess maybe I do. I think I'm going to calm the Solosis. Let's check the deck here real quick. We do have, eh, looks like maybe everything checks out. We'll grab that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go beach. And uh, we're going to go hit the beach here and draw some cards. Very nice. Hmm. Interesting stuff, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't think Fampy gets KO'd. I'm weak to water, not grass, so there's nothing I gotta worry about on that front. Not sure Don Fan Prime is really the best attacker in this matchup because it's kind of a fat boy, so I can't just like retreat it as easily out of confusion. But I think I go for it because it's the best early game attacker that I can put pressure on you with here that isn't a Mewtwo. Sure. So yeah, I think it's fair to go with the Fampy. Okay. Yo, one time drop out plume. Oh, that works too. You know what? That could be good. No shot. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna... <laughs> I'm actually gonna put a DC onto Oddish. I'm gonna end. Let's see what oh, I get okay. here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting N. Didn't get the vile plume or candy, but I do have this. I can Pokecom for hmm. Grab another Oddish, I guess. And all okay. earthquake. I think I'm gonna take the knockout now. Well, I can take a prize. I think it's fair enough to just take the prize here. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Yeah, I just kind of go from there. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I debated so... doing beach, but yeah, I think it was fine just to take the knockout there and just try to put more pressure on. Because I think Don Fan can maybe buy me a turn or two if I'm lucky. Not to kind of hope that's the case. But that's the thing about the truth. Is this deck, like, you don't even have to, like, be aggressive. You can fall behind a couple turns. That's kind of what this deck tries to do anyways. It's one of the more slower decks, mm -hmm. right? So I can maybe afford to give up For a couple sure. turns, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the fact that you're taking a prize, to be honest. Because if you're taking a prize, you're not playing twins, which is pretty good for me, honestly. Ooh, that um, is true. Hmm. That's so fair. So I think here... I do have a couple of plays I could go for. Mm -hmm. See what you got Don going on? No, what's best. I mean, hmm. this Don fan cannot knock out a Nine Tails. Right. Um, which is good, but if I. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of tough. tough. This is tough. I think if I just like am not item locked i think i'm chilling this game so yeah I'm i think that's going pretty to fair bright look bring this guy up and i'm mm -hmm. gonna say thank you very much for that dawn fan damage as well <laughs> i as... was thinking about that i yeah. i was gonna get mr mine but i definitely want to get two oddish down even though i saw this coming i'm like yeah i need to get a couple oddish down um because sure. i figured one of them was gonna get gusted so i was like ah, we're gonna get two set up if i can that's pretty fair and then two Bench that, and then I do also probably need to play around um, getting item locked. So yep. I'm going to play junk arm. It's pretty get a fair. Level ball, play mm -hmm. the level ball, even though I'm losing a lot to do this. Like, yeah. Now the question is off of level ball, what is better to get? And right. Is it nine tails or a mungus? And it just totally depends on what you do next turn, right? Yep. Um, you can't knock out my nine tails, so if I get a Moongus, I'm like pretty much guaranteed to be able to hit your Dawn fan next turn. If you evolve into Gloom, I can't knock out your Oddish anymore. Or your your Gloom. I can't right. knock out Vile Plume. Gloom, Vile Plume yeah. does have two retreat. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna take this. Get the Moongus? Yeah, that's fair. And Hexed Flame will take yep. a KO, 40 damage. Thank you, Don Fan, oh, for the assist. Don Fan. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. We're going to promote Oddish. I'm going to draw. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Bench Solosis. 
We'll attach Rainbow Energy to Oddish. Hmm. Do I want to go down this road, though? Yeah, I'm going to do this. We're going to retreat into Reshiram. I'm going to bench Cleffa, and then I'm going to Trouble Beach. And just try to build up another big hand. Let's see how this sure. goes. Makes sense. Hmm. All right. I will bench a Vulpix. Attach yep. return to this Vulpix. And I am going to Spore Prize the active. Mm-hmm. I think you have a KO here, right? I think the map yeah, checks out. I yeah. KO it with poison, even without yep. Tropical Beach coming down. Yeah. Which is nice. Now, I did hit one of the key cards I wanted to draw here, and that is Devolution Spray. Ooh, uh, nice. Or I potentially get item locked. Yep. Because you are going to have access to twins this coming turn, so I definitely mm -hmm. want to play my items here. Yep. Yeah. Play as many items as you can to kind of play around the, uh, the Vile Plume. That is a pretty fair play for sure. That I does make things awkward that, for though. me. Hmm. All right, we're going for the next Yep, and the poison damage kills me, and I guess we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna promote Cleffa. I'm gonna draw for turn and hope for a good top deck. That was a good top deck, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to save me. Hmm. Interesting. So your deck does have one hit KO potential, which is kind of the, the scary thing about this matchup. Yeah. And that's the problem with, like, playing an anti-meta deck, like the truth outside of its meta. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. I agree. It's, it's definitely a little difficult here. I think we're just going to go for the twins. And, hmm. Do I want to go down that road or nah? That actually doesn't seem bad. So she a good opportunity to try to go with this. Okay, let's do this. Let's go twins. You can probably guess what uh, one of the combos I tried to get into play was. Yep. And then, Makes sense. yeah, we're going to go put Entei Suicune Legend in play too here. Oh, snap. Yeah, we're going for it. And then it's going to beach. All right, so what's interesting here is, hmm. yeah, I think what I got to do... I mean, I do have the knockout on the Vile Plume, so I think yeah, that's, that's what I was like, worried about. Yeah, go for the knockout. Just what I have to do. Yeah. And this, yeah, I will yeah. admit, this does feel like it's going to be a tougher matchup for you. Just like mm -hmm. the fact that the gusting exists, the one hit KO KOs exist. is so real. Yeah. And, well, this thing is weak to psychic, but I am doing enough, which is good. But yep. That is <laughs> oh, yeah, it is weird, to, <laughs> weird to look at a Vile Plume that's weak to psychic. <laughs> that's so true. That is pretty funny, actually. That is weak to psychic. <laughs> So yeah, this is looking uh, it is looking pretty grim for me here. Uh, we'll play the twins again though. I'll go ahead and grab this. And I am out of vile plume. You did knock out both of my things, so I won't be able to go vile plume. Yeah. But what I can do is I can still maybe try to hold on. I'm not sure this is gonna be enough to keep me in the game, but we'll see. Well, rare candy and reuniclus. Sure. We'll attach to Entei. Retreat. Well, damage swap. I'm going to put that damage onto Cleffa, because why not? And I am going to Bursting Inferno for the knockout. This thankfully does take a knockout, because you are weak to water. And I burn you yep. anyways. So that's a cool thing. Yep, Entei yeah, Suicune yeah. Legend dual type, you know, pretty cool stuff. We'll Very take our prize. Cool. Yeah. It makes me wish I maybe played three Oddish in here. But... And I should... I think I do have just the knockout. Oh, no, you moved the damage counter off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, not not no problem, no big deal. No, I like not to hear. Not even worried maybe. about it. Let's see, what do you have left? Interesting. All right. I maybe have a win con still. It's possible I can still win this game. It is gonna be close though for sure. Thinking about my outs here. If I, I think if I would probably be chilling if I had a vile plume in play. So when you, yeah, when you killed both my vile plumes. Maybe I should have been building up Dawn Fan too, because having Dawn Fan's second attack does one shot your nine yeah. tails. So I was thinking about yeah. that too. So it does do a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of avenues to take this matchup. Maybe if I if I played this matchup a little bit more, I probably could have been well a lot more well versed here. But I haven't played this matchup enough, I think, for me to be oh, able to. Of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> How could? <laughs> who would expect you to have prepped this matchup? Exactly. Um, all right. So I think my plan here is gonna just be a pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Great look. 
Yeah. To KO what is my question, though? I can KO either Don Fan or Reuniclus. Exactly. Which one? Which one? I think... I mean, Don Fan is just not a threat at all, so I think yeah. I'm going to go with the Reuniclus. Yeah, I think it's got to be the... Yeah, it's definitely got to be the Reuniclus here, I think. And I do have the Amoongus. Yep. Hmm. That's interesting. Burbank and research Search. Ooh, or juniper nice. I should yeah say. yeah the juniper yeah i got that i got it mixed up all the time <laughs> that's fair so, hmm. here let's see I, I want to hmm have access to a gust next turn, turn most yeah likely. i have to google hold on i gotta google antique speaking legend i can't read the text on it <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because let me zoom in. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, that's fair. All right. Cool, cool. I just wanted to, I had to read the card because I literally, I, <laughs> it wouldn't let me zoom in on the card text. Yeah. You're it does good. have two attacks, so. I think you, I mean, if you're playing similar to Rouse's list, you only have one beach, so. Yeah. Mm, a level go. ball, yeah. This. Yeah, I think I want to have access to gust next turn so i'm mm -hmm. gonna get this that's fair yeah get the get the vulpix down now yep and i do need to devolution spray now so you don't mm -hmm. like that, that thing snipes right yep so yeah exactly yep <laughs> that's what i was looking at fungus. yeah yeah oh, i had to make nice. sure that yeah. it could snipe yeah <laughs> yeah because if i leave a mungus in play and wait to try to devolution spray next turn you can punish that by sniping the fungus exactly yeah that's why i was that's why i had to google it i'm like this thing snipes right so Ooh, that was an interesting card. Dude, is this ever good in this matchup, though? It might be too ball. Eh. Kind of all in on this play. Yeah, we're going to bench Kiram. And I'm actually going to end here. I'm going to hope that N can clutch me up here. Let's see. I am wishing now I had attacked with the Ninetales that did not have the Silver, silver Bangle, bangle on, it. on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go put that on there. And yeah, we are going to Burst the Inferno, and I'm just going to hope you don't got it like that. That's all I can really do in this scenario, yeah. and uh, just hope for the best. You do have that Clefum play, which is pretty pretty annoying. You are able to eek here, which could be a problem. Yeah, and what I'm able to do as well is I'm able to Nine Tails bring up the 30 HP Solosis, play Hypnotoxic Laser, oh. and go for eek. That's gross. Oh my god. I had Beach in hand, too. Oh, I should have seen that. I mean, to be fair, you needed the nuts to get that. <laughs> I mean, I just needed a... I, yeah. a Nine Tails laser is kind of the nuts, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah, that's fair. Oh, man. Ooh, you wake up, though. That's not... I mean, you are out of Nine Tails here, though, which is good. But, oof. That was a pretty good knockout. Oh, we're going to have to play the beach. And I'm so just going to have to... Yeah, I'll just have to Bursting Inferno knock you out here. It's all about yeah, I can man. really do. Do not have the gust, like you said. Yeah. Um, hmm. I can confuse you, though, which yep. is good. Yeah, the confusion's pretty That's good, cool. yeah. Could put you to Oof. sleep, which would maybe be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting me to sleep here would be nuts. Ooh, okay. Nice. Okay. All right, double laser. So I have that. I have mm -hmm. this. Ooh. That's and a big head I'm flip. I'm going to do this, yep. and I'm actually going to play an in. Yeah. This is... This right. is Yep. Kind of spicy down here at the end, mm -hmm. to be honest. It is getting super spicy. Ooh, here comes the N. And <sighs> place honestly, I like, attacking this for not enough. Like, I'm just debating here, should I beach, pretty much? Yeah. Is it worth it to hit, or is it better to just beach? And I think it is probably better to just beach, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't, see, a, I don't see a world where you do. And I need to wake up here. Oh, okay. That does save me potentially. This is close. This bro. is so close. All right, we're gonna sage. Um, hmm. All right. I love the fact that it's not an N. Yeah. If if it was an N, we'd be we'd be big chilling. Unfortunately, it was not an N though. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. You are one nine tails away from winning the game on my Cleffa. Yeah, you put that 10 damage on it earlier, you're like, sure, it doesn't matter. Matter, and look at that, it does matter. <laughs> oh, I actually might have been okay if I hit a rainbow energy there. So I could have sniped your Vulpix, knocked it out. 
Ooh. That actually was a big win. Well, then, and then it just forces me to be able to KO the active. Yeah, which you may have, but it definitely would have been a lot more ideal than my Cleffa getting bonked here. Yeah, I sure. I think that's GG's. I can't do anything about my hand. Like, I could retreat into Kyurem and attack with it. I can go on a Dawn fan. I mean, I think that's gonna probably be game as you just don't have the nine tails we're cooking but i can knock your nine tails out then take suicune here yeah. draw a card but i don't think it's gonna be enough to win this game unfortunately yeah yes i do indeed have the nine tails but i gotta say yeah. as well i i also had the amoongus and the verbank so i was gonna okay. knock out your active regardless but yeah I was dead we're anyways. gonna go out in style mm -hmm. not using the hex flame and we're gonna use that amoongus to Confuse and yep. poison, and I'm gonna throw the Verbank City, City gym in play. Yep, I'm doing enough to with the poison. Poison to knock me out and take the dub. Yes. Pretty close game. Kind of glad I got to use Entei Suicune Legend in this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was yeah, man. Kind of worried it wasn't gonna show its face, but I definitely think it was good to use it in this matchup. I think really, yeah. I don't know if I had to basically go end that turn, and there's nothing I could have done. But yeah, good game, man. Good game. That was a close one. That was really <laughs> to close. To be honest, that was, and we went to game seven in our conquest best of seven. So that's yeah, that's it was fun. it was a good set there. Unfortunately, the truth just couldn't get me over the edge. I think maybe if I I don't know. I'm looking back on that. I don't know how I could have played that differently. There was a turn where I maybe could have went N. The turn I went rare candy vile plume with the twins. I maybe could have end you and got rare candy vile plume, which would have been a lot better. But yeah, I, if you draw it right. Yeah, I maybe should have just went down that route, but. Yeah. Fair. Either way, if I don't get it, then I, I'm probably screwed anyways. But it was a good game for sure, bro. GG's. Yeah, GG's, man. Thanks so much for asking me on to do this. It was absolutely a blast. And um, I'm going to miss Legacy. This was a lot of fun. I hate that we're not going to be able to play it online anymore. I hope people build retro decks of Legacy. Um, maybe play some of that at some regionals or something like that. But yeah, RIP to Legacy. RIP PTCGO. Yeah, rip, rip to both Legacy and PCGO. And there's maybe a world one day where live does add older sets to the game again. I don't know if that'll be anytime soon, but if uh, if live takes off, maybe one day they could. Dude, that's got to be so far down the list of things to potentially do to that game. Unfortunately. To be fair, Legacy was added pretty late in TCGO. I mean, it was added in 2016, so... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't right point. away, right? So That's fair. That's fair. You know. Well, I guess to be fair, though, they did have Unlimited, but... I don't know, like the I don't know the idea of that. It's still possible. Yeah, I the think. cards the cards were already in the game on TCGO, right? Exactly, yeah. But to be fair, most of the black and white era cards. I guess at the Riata Hercules was over. Anyways, it is what it is. Legacy will be remembered as truly the best format on PCGO. Better than expanded. Probably better than most of the standard formats we've been stuck with over the past seven years of Legacy being around. But yeah. Thank you for uh, doing the uh, collab here. We had a lot of really good games there, and I'm glad we were able to get all seven in. That was, it showed a lot of lot of legacy there. Yeah, man. It was a bunch of fun. Thanks again for having me. No worries, bro. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll uh, do it. Yeah, rest in peace, PCGO. We're going to pour one out. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all in another video and all that good stuff. And shout out to Chip. I will, of course, leave a link down below to the Uncommon Energy podcast and his Twitter. And I guess your Twitch, too, if you don't mind me dropping your Twitch in there, too. You can. Haven't streamed in over a year, but feel free. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for hopping on for the collab, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave me the comments down below what your favorite deck and legacy was and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, rest in peace, legacy and PCGO. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.